Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It's Cray here, some more Animal Crossing. So yeah, I wanted to check out the new update. And that's because, well, it looks really good. I don't know if I can check it out right now though. I'm still like really early in the game. We're gonna be getting a lot of stuff done today, I'm sure. So do you they no due to the new release version? Okay. I've never seen that message before. This is kinda neat. Huh. From what I understand, you have to, like, build an actual museum upgrade, and then you can actually get the new stuff. It's not automatic. I'm just going to do one thing really quick before we jump into this. Check and chat to make sure it's good. So, doing a bit of an early stream. Not really early, but I wanted to do something a little bit earlier than I normally do because I was interested in going for trip to town to go buy some stuff, so that's why I figured it'd be good to start like 1 or one thirty. Oh, well, you know, there's leaf, so there is something here. Actually, you can get to meet somebody. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 1.29 p.m. this happy Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Nine yesterday, I'll bring Nature Day. Yes, yes, this important festivity reminds us that our little island is part of a bigger world. It's the last day for all the special activities. I hope everyone does something nice for the island. For today's other news, I have Timmy and Tommy open up their new shop today. Small shop, they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods. Sure to better your island life. From 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. The store is closed. Some of these are drop pop box to sell all your items. Okay. One more thing. We're at the opening of the shop. I need catalog service to nook shopping. Catalog lets customers see a record of items they obtained or purchased. Any mass marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog to make good use of it. Oh, with all that said, we're going to take advantage of the new Nook's cranny. By the way, we'll be holding a special commemorative ceremony soon, as usual. About my resident service, if you'd like to participate. Right, seems easy enough. Oh dear, there fails. I'm not in the middle of a broadcast. Ah. One more uh, moment, please. What is this? Hello? It's Tom Nook from Nook Geek, yes. What? The getaway package? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, it's what the villager does when we're doing. That's... Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's all for today's island-wide broadcast. Nice. This is neat. I'm so sorry to put you on hold. I need a full overview of the... Okay. Interesting. I would assume that only happens for like a few villagers, not all of them, I would assume, but like most of the time you end up getting quite a few cutscenes like this, maybe, depending. I wonder how long we're going to keep seeing like an intro cutscene. I don't think that's a thing that's happened to most of the other Animal Crossing games. Kind of nice though, I like it. Oops. What we got here? Ooh, we got some from people we haven't had before. Bank of Nook. We were writing to inform you that we reduced the interest rate offered to all savings accounts. Anyway, please enjoy the attached gift. Appreciate your business. What is this? Well, I guess I'll find out in a second. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well. Huh. Daisy May. Oh yeah, she sells the turnips. Let's see about this. Here we go, Stroll, folks. Heading to your every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. Oh, my grandma used to. Be seeing you, Daisy May. Oh, nice. We get to get the turnips next Sunday early, then. Very soon, like, the end of the week, I guess. And one from Tom Nook. I'm going to advise you something special. Nook Miles Plus activities that are available from now until May 4th. All part of our Nature Day event. Yes, yes, I do hope you'll come see me for more details from... Interesting. Alright, let's check out our presents then. What do we get? World map. Bell bag rug. Interesting. Alright, before we do anything else, I want to actually look around a little bit. Oh, yeah, it looks like my money tree grew too. That's good. What do we got here? Mm. Oh, okay, so this is probably just for logging on. I feel now and I was left the promise and 
This is all reason I was in the number of active days he spent here. Take them and enjoy them. Or it could just be like... Many days I've been on the game in total. Good stuff though. Get some for just playing. Alright, let's see. Let's see these specialties. This is for... What does this say? Plant shrub starts. Okay. Pop balloons. Easy. Hit rock. Okay, these were all really simple. Can do all this. I was meaning to get a bunch of nook miles today anyway, and... Come on, me before we do that. Can't see perfectly, unfortunately. Bamboo's in the way. There we go. Hmm. What is this? Oh, that's a locust, isn't it? Wait, let me see. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if it's just that and not any normal grasshoppers. Well, whatever the case. They're snail. I thought I saw something on the stumps, like, last time I was playing, like, beetles. Not a big deal. I wonder how, like, how commonly we're going to be getting these updates. I'm sure they're going to be, like, quite a few things, but... Kind of nice to know we got, like, brand new content to look forward to right now. Hopefully it'll be a thing that stays around for a while. Nature Day event looks like it'll be really handy, too, with how many different things we can get out of this event. Clam. Okay. That might be a good day to do fishing. I haven't really got any of the fishing base, nook miles things, at least not anything that isn't daily. Hold on a second before we do any more. The thing I like about this is like every time I play it, it feels like there's always something new to pop in and do. Also, today we can finally pay off the first debt. I've been waiting for so long to get that out of the way. I was trying to get it done, like, quickly, and I guess I just didn't have the right timing or the right luck to actually pay the whole debt off. Alan's looking kind of nice right now. I'm going to be playing it quite a bit at the moment. I want to get, like, ability to unlock gifts for my Islanders as well as, as also get, like... I want to get more fruit, I want to get like a ladder, and I want to get a bunch of stuff done that I wouldn't be doing otherwise. I'm logging on not enough, but I want to play a little bit more before I go back to my other games than I originally anticipated. It's been a fun time, honestly. Plus, I've been kind of, I'm going to be honest, I've been a little bit bored when I don't have anything to do and just don't want to start up because I don't want to mess the progression the way I'm doing it on stream. I kind of like having my progress be streamed where I can show it to everybody and have a nice little session like this. Jay's house. Okay. Interesting. I thought they, I wasn't concerned if they actually got an upgraded house or not. I think I, I thought I'd read online that you could like give them stuff. I thought they were supposed to be stuck in tents. Maybe that was something else I was reading about. The starting villagers that I mistook. Fossil, sweet, we're getting up to a good start. Alright, we might go over to check on lathers in a second. Let me see if I can find... I'll go get this right now. Good stuff. All this money we got for our money tree. I can't pick it up because I don't have enough room? What? Hold on a second. I need to look this up for a second. I've never ran into that before. Let me go over to the bot here. I guess I have to actually pay this right now. It's weird. Let me see. Hey, Brian. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Um, surely I can get an upgrade. Let me see what this says on a Googler. Maybe it'll tell me when I pay it off. Yes, of course. Oh, well, you know, we're about to get our next villager moved in. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Mm hmm. Oh, not at all. Set up your move in day at a later time. No, 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 no trouble at all. Uh, proper contracts. Understood. Back to you very soon. Thank you. Huh. Okay, so we gotta do quite a bit today so we can get the ladder probably in the next day or two. 
Wait, sorry, he'd be waiting. I suppose you heard that call I just got. Sometime now I've been advertising the Yostral getaway package. When you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Oh, actually, wow, they, they got like a few people without me doing anything. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Very wonderful, except for one minor little detail. Africans are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. Tells them the excitement for staying in the move here in a may of promise them fully furnished homes inside the land. Preparing all the furnishings. Just one raccoon. Hmm. Oh boy, we gotta build houses today, huh? I didn't even talk to more than one person, so I guess he chose the people himself. Great. We are in my hour of need. Certainly this AB fate. Okay, so that means I'm probably gonna need my ra my ladder recipe like relatively soon, I would assume. Don't give me these homes, all three of them. Which I'll give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Of course. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh boy, I hope you didn't pick anybody I don't want. These are the top secret instructions. You come talk to me. What should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> he wants me to play like a spy, huh? But yeah, I actually had like, I was mean to go ahead and buy some like NFC stickers at some point. And I wanted to like, put like the receipt or I was going to put like some stuff for like villagers that I actually wanted to get on my island on the stickers and scan them in. But if it's going to rush me, I'm going to have to hurry about it and... I don't know, maybe if I scan an amiibo sticker, let me do it regardless, but I'd like to get to the point where I can bring in, like, two or three people that I want to pick. Let's see here. Rose crown, succulent pot. These must be, oh, I guess these are new that I didn't see. Look at this. Don't place it. I mean, I don't know what to do right now. I guess I, I need to for the sake of getting my hands on the ladder. I wanted to invite Apollo onto my island as well as get... Let's see, is Apollo and Alfonso, I think those are the two I remember that I liked a lot. They're past villagers I've had. Right, here we go, get some miles. And it's weird how I couldn't get enough to actually get my wallet full, though. Whatever. Just pay 95k right now. I couldn't even, I couldn't hold up the 10k like I, or not 10k, but I mean 100k like I wanted. We'll go get the rest now. Hmm. In, instruction tent? I mean, I guess that could work. I've heard you can force people out of the. The towns, I mean, that could be an option, too, if I need to try that. But, I mean, I would hope I didn't have to go that far. I'm not exactly opposed to having new villagers right now. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know. I, I don't think the cards are very easy to find. And plus, if I can just get some another stickers online, but I'm not sure how brassy they get. Wait, is that a debug? I can't tell it. Wait, let me see. Quit moving. I can't look at it. Nah, I think it's just a long locust, but I'm gonna better look at it. Yeah, it looks like a long locust. Never mind. I thought for a second there's like a different coloring than normal. Need a campsite and I get it later? Okay, I mean... Oh boy. I can deal with that, though. I'll work on that on my own. The only thing I'm, like, concerned about is I want to bother to get any other villagers that are different, because I want to make sure that I can get my hands on, like... At least, I want to try and get one new villager at minimum, since I want to bother to get somebody that I can... Yeah, you know what I mean? I want to get uh, one of the new ones, and there's no actual cards for them or any type of base. I didn't have to like NFC you can use on them, so that's a little bit of trouble all by itself. It's not the end of the world, though. I figured the sticker should be the best bet, because if I bought stickers, and I can just put, I can just find the stuff in the database. There's been like a huge thing of it, and I could probably. 
fun. I might use catalog them all online and I can just get the data for the villagers I want and then load them on the stickers and do it, rather than buying the cards. Probably my best bet, honestly. I'm gonna have to really use up my Nook Miles tickets so if I wanna find somebody that's new, I guess. I don't know, I, I kinda hate, like I was looking at them online and I, I hate how people are charging like ridiculous amounts for villagers. Okay, apparently I can't actually stack my vanilla clams. That's a little dumb in my opinion, but whatever. It would've been nice if I could have them together and ready. Huh, okay, so I was wondering about what happened when I had a second money tree. Seems it starts growing by itself. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine as long as it's not planned on, like, it wouldn't be really planned the same day anyway. Alright, let's go back in here before we do anything. I need to take care of this anyway. Yeah, I've, I've seen some grossly ridiculous prices. Hey, Zachary, good to see you. Welcome to stream. Oh, this is gonna feel nice, even though we're about to get followed up by another nuisance anyway. There we go! Debt free! Finally got the first debt cleared. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan. Cool. Let's see what Nook has to say. Well, hello there, Cray. Well, I was talking my hearty congratulations. You paid off your loan in full. Expecting nothing less, of course, but occasions like these are cause for celebration. It's a good time to stalk and reflect. Yes, yes. He's already trying to think of a scheme and he's going to try and get another expansion. I'm going to have to take it, though, because the base house is, like, tiny. I'm sure your home is quite comfy in its current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh, I assure you that it can, indeed. Be bigger. A bigger home means more space for furniture and more storage, too. There's really some possibilities, I'll leave it at that. Just come see if you'd like to hear more. I hate that I'm going to have to get this, but I'm going to. Also, welcome to the stream, Zachary, if I didn't say it already. Great, right, for a limited time. Special Nature Day promotion for Nook Miles. Uh, not more than miles than usual usual your eco-friendly island activities. Special gift. So they consider participating in this event, won't you? Of course, it's my hope the island residents will be eco-friendly all the time, not just around Nature Day. I mean, I came to you to talk about the dead. Do I have to get back out of the uh, tent? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've got to say, the house is, like, really small to start off with. Well, hmm, for your home, I think I'd recommend making the room larger. Or taking out a loan of 198k bills. That's a lot. I thought I'd be getting the left and right doors before I got the larger living area, but okay, I'll take it. Wonderful, I'm so happy for you. Make sure construction begins right away. Oh, it occurs to me. Might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof, don't you think so? Eight color options. Okay, I can look, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm satisfied with what I had originally. Nah, I'm gonna keep the same color. Wait, okay, I gotta pick one again. That's a little bit strange how it doesn't just let you bother to actually make it so you can just keep the exact same color from the start off, but I mean, whatever. Aqua roof, yeah. That'll be nice. Get to come on tomorrow to another expansion. I wish you could, like, choose how you upgrade it. It's not really a big deal, but I, I would love it if I could actually bother to... I'm gonna read this for you. See this works? Loan, you get some Nook Miles. Thank you for doing business in Nook Inc. Right, I'm sure there's gonna be more of these for every debt. That'll be quite a long time to get all those paid off, though, considering he charges you, like, seven times or something. I think Ink Light... I was gonna say, I was gonna say that I... Bleh, give me a second. I was meant to say that a lot easier, and it didn't come out right. I was gonna say that I wish you could, like, choose the upgrades you get instead of having to do it in a specific order. It'd be nice to actually get, like, the rooms when you want them and get certain layout first and then expand the other part to the house the way you want it. 
Because I would love to get the staircase pretty early. It's Leaf, there we go. Hey, hey, I'm welcome. Should I call you friend? Cray. Hey, Cray? Happy name. Oh, yes, and I'm Leaf. Heard that my good pal Timmy started a shop here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me he was a desert island before he moved here. What a happy adventure. Bet you're up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived. Found yourself a blank canvas that you can paint however you like. Some of the rare flower seeds and shrubs I brought to me will be featured in your final masterpiece. Uh, sure. I'd probably go ahead and buy at least one of them so I get rewards for it. I recommend lining them up around your house along the flowers. Of course, for the best effect. Can't go wrong, you surround yourself with such beauty. By the way, today I'm selling the happiest shrub I know, the azalea. Lucky for us, it's currently in season, so we have to wait for... No, wait. We appreciate its lovely blossoms. Anyway, tree pleasure. See you again soon. Alright, let's get a few of these if I can. I think I only have like a few spots of space, though, so I'm going to have to go take care of some stuff. Yeah, I've got... Uh, like, I haven't actually did more than building nooks, cranny... Oh, excuse me, my throat's acting up. My goal is to, like, do a lot of stuff today and hopefully get as much building as I need done. Anyway, let's read this. I'd love to introduce you to all the little seeds and saplings I got me today. Right, let's see. What kind of stuff does he carry? Orange tea, olive, yellow tea, olive star. You also get some of these. Okay, I mean... I'm gonna buy two of these kind of things first because I know that I'm... I think I'm supposed to get rewards for buying shrubs. I don't know if I get anything for buying, buying any flowers, though. Oh, I don't have any space. thought I had another slot or two. Well, I'll take care of that in a second, then. Let's go to see Blathers. I'm sure the game's raid offer me the museum expansion. Yeah, there's a... It's nice seeing other new like, shopkeeper, I guess, like, seeing, seeing Leaf is kind of cool because, like, the game needed more things to do, and the whole bringing up more flowers and more, that's right, we're looking for, well, more like a, I'm not sure what the, what the right word for it is, but you know what I'm saying, like, more plants you can put in the ground in general. Oh, dear, pardon me. Hi, hello, Cray. Welcome to the Oyster Isle Museum. I may be of service. Right, I'm gonna make any donations I can first, if I can, and no, it's like there's nothing, just wanted to make sure. Okay, so let's go for getting the fossil assessed then. That's weird. You didn't mention a thing about me upgrading though. Assess fossils. Let me see. Here is our fossil. Oops. And what fossil did we get this time? Sure thing. Ankleo Tail. What a weird name. Herb indeed splendid rare fossil. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Okay. So is this the kind of discovery? Blah, blah, blah. Donate. Same script as always until I get actual information. Oh, Ankylosaurus was the herbivore hero, the grazing gladiator, vegetarian barbarian of antiquity. Club like tail, heavy armor, and honest to goodness, spikes was a formidable beast. Keep a secret? Even heard recent theories that actively attacked predators. Madness behavior in a herbivore? Simply begs the imagination of beggars. Okay. Huh. That was. Interesting little spiel, not really a whole lot. So, do I have to donate a certain amount of stuff? That's weird. And uh, I didn't see any mention of red. Oh boy, sucked it yet. Residential services first. It's making that to wait even longer to see red if that's the case, because I am still not at that point yet, and that means. Well, actually, I think residential services comes like a day or two after I get. More villagers in the ladder. I'm not certain. I think once I get all these homes planted, there should be the option to do residential services like the next day. So if that's the case, and I can rest easy. Not actually sure how this works, though. I don't remember 
when I thought residential services was like a day four thing, which I don't have yet because of the fact I'm obviously a little bit behind there. I had a feeling, and I, I fucked it up a little bit because I was on the wrong side. Fuck. That's my fault. I didn't think about that. And, of course, my fucking shovel dies on me, too. Great. I need a stone now, I think, unless I'm... Well, I'm out of Epson. Let me see. Should have taken that. Should have checked my spot better, I mean. I'm gonna say, I didn't really check carefully. Uh... I don't think I have any stone on me. I might have some back in my house, though. Cool. That was easy. A lot of miles today. We get to do some definite good island exploration if I feel like it, or I might hold on to them. I don't know. There might be other things I can use them for. I don't know what the best purpose is right now. Alright, we need stone, at least one. Surely I've got some stone somewhere that I can utilize, because I need that for building another shovel. I mean, I guess, worst case scenario, I could always go and buy one, but I don't really want to. I mean... I don't know, I don't have a shovel to break it in the first place right now, which means there's no option to, so... Right now I need to get... Supplies! Okay, there we go. Let's see, what do we got here? Medicine, there's the bamboo. Bunch of furniture I never use, I might sell that soon, actually. Manila clams, uh, I'll take one out, because I mean... I'm gonna make some fish bait and try to get some fish stuff. I thought you couldn't break a rock without a shovel. Okay, you can actually use an axe on it. That's something I didn't know about. I've never heard of anybody using axe to break it. That's the first for me. Mm, I can go visit my villagers. I'm gonna wait a second. I need to get space in my inventory first. Alright, first stop in the Nook's Cranny that I've ever like been on. Like We haven't actually visited here since we opened it yet. See what's inside. I mean, I don't remember. I don't think you can actually break rocks and move trees in other games. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, the Able Sisters. Then I heard you're all moving to the deserted island. Much faster than I imagined. So nice. So nice. No, we haven't been here all that long. Short time, Blyers just moved in. We're able to open up the shop. Learning some new things every day has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So pleased to hear that. Actually, I'm gonna check in on you all. If you need anything, any assistance with anything. We're always celebrating your new shop, you know. Sisters like to help wherever we can. Any ideas come to mind? Too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed the even thought to come visit us. Visit us. Oh, hey, I think. Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. Our mail orders for a lot of our goods. The shop makes it a bit easier for us to obtain any ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but... see a clothing supplier. Aha! Something tells me that today's your lucky day. As it turns out, it's not really that difficult, it's difficult for us to get to that uh, this island. Oh god, why am I reading so poorly? Just take my bad. What if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Alright, I guess I have to actually convince her to make a permanent shop. Oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed. Of course, silly. It's all our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. That's so I should head home and work out the details to my sister. Yes, please do that. Let's do that. Good to see you here again. That's good. Oh, okay, that was short. Thought she'd hang around and speak to me. Hmm. Have to spend 5k at her shop? Okay, I mean, I'll have to remember that. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting. 
Thanks for your help. You've opened up this amazing new shop. New shop. Slap is named in honor of a shop our beloved President Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. You can see we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. I can fill all your shopping needs. Shopping needs. Right, there's a lot here. Let's see. What is this? Fishing boat flag, huh? 22. 100 and... Not really interested. I think there's supposed to be some good new stuff in here, but I'll probably have to talk to them. Let's see what's in here, though. The cabinet? Yeah, today. There's basic tools. Umbrella, I guess, as a decoration. Party popper. Interesting. And a bunch of different types of saplings. What is this thing? Oh, wrapping paper. Okay. Anything really new here? Nothing I can see. Got a wallpaper section. Okay. I mean, not really a lot to pick from at the moment besides the furniture. Here if you need anything else. My nose. Ugh. There's something else. All right. Our new shop came. Three new services. Here comes three new services. First, let's turn it. Turn it, Margaret. Let's take off here on your island. They'll probably say turn up a yeah, turn solar soon. Buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays, the day the turnip solar visits the island. Second new service involves the hot item of the day. It'll change every day. If you want it to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. Check the hot item of the day on the sign for the shop, or by asking us directly. There's a drop train drop in the drop-off box. Find it in front of the shop. So you're in a hurry, or the shop is closed. You can just drop off any items you want to sell. Easy, right? Pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account. I should mention a few things. There's a handling fee. We don't accept turnips, and hot items will sell just for the regular price. Interesting. And it's kind of no point in using it then. I think that wraps it up. Unless I'm pretty sure they rip you off, you use the drop off like you don't get as much money. Sorry about that. That explanation went on for a bit. How can I help? Right, let's see. How about we try asking about what's hot? I mean, we're not going to get any use out of turnip value, and we don't have any turnips yet. Yeah, that's what I figured, is it was useless. Another DIY? I mean, I didn't see anything new. Anyway, let's see. Today is the simple DIY workbench. Cost the usual map for hot items, so I'll go ahead and bring them in. Anything else I can give you today? That, that's easy, actually. I've got one on my person. I'm pretty sure that I can sell my other stuff. So, I mean, the an extra large sum of cash there. Let's see. How much should I get rid of here? Weeds. Uh, let's see. Anything else that I'm forgetting? Actually, I think my workbench might be still sitting around in my place, and I'll have to go pull it out of storage, maybe. Let's see. What's the other stuff I was going to craft? Oh, no, never mind. There it is. I was going to say, I thought I had it. Oh, locust. Okay, give me a second to look over my stuff. Eh, that looks about right. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot. I could probably make quite a few of those. Get your DIY. I'll have to look for that. On selection, let's see. Run the numbers, taking high and value hot items. So I can buy these for a total of 75,000, or not 7,500 bells. So, yeah, that's about right. That's a lot. Take it. Sounds like that'll be helpful. I'm sure the hot items will actually be like a huge help in getting more money now. Alright, let's see what's in here. Did I run over or something without paying attention? Let me see. Uh, I don't know if I've got this or not. Let's see. Let me check my recipes before I buy it. Yeah, I can look at my phone and see if that's there, but I don't know if I've... if they have it organized like that or not. Let me see. Uh, I would assume it's kind of hard to find a category. Yeah, I probably don't have it, actually, because I don't... I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to look and check exactly. 
I don't see anything to denote that I actually have it. Yeah, oh wait. Well, no, I, was, I thought I saw something to look at the categories. I was wrong. I don't know how you're supposed to check which categories you've already bought, although that doesn't sound like something I own, so I'll pay for it. Apparently for the next upgrade, you need to, like, get 50k spent and 50k sold as well as pay off a debt and, like, it takes a while before you can get access to the uh, next upgrade. So, probably work on that passively, but not right now. Sure, let's buy it. More recipes to use. That's useful. Let's see. What do we buy anyway? We're done. Enjoying DI or your new DI or so even more now. Okay, I might have read that pretty much. I just didn't read the right way. My bad. Anything else look interesting? Uh, I think that's probably it for the moment, because right now seems like a good time to get Nook Miles and do some stuff. Maybe make another workbench or two to get rid of. Three objectives, yeah. I think I had heard about that, so it's not exactly too bad. Also, I got oranges planted now, so I mean, I can grow some more trees. I could probably use those and make a bit of cash off of them, but I think I'm better off just planting a ton of them right now. Ooh, another thing here, but I don't have my shovel. Okay, give me a second then. That reminds me. Let's make a new home for some of these people, so... Take away some of this junk instead of just legging and immediately getting bulldozed and I pick a new spot. Huh. I guess the guy I taught, the rhino villager I talked to would probably be... Moving into one of the houses, I don't have the campsite to look at him and wait. Do I have to go get the construction kits from Nook? I don't see them in my inventory. I was going to go back there anyway, though. Alright, let's go talk to Tom Nook. I mean, it's not like it's going to hurt. I need to get started on the daily stuff so we can make proper progress. See. Right, hello, hello. Right, you got my stuff I need. Wait. Okay, let's see this. Let's see if this will tell me. Oh, already ready to help me prepare. So I'm thinking. I can start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. Three homes to build. Or they'll run the space on land that's easily accessible. Everything's that make it a bit easier to get housing plots during construction. If I'd like you to start by crafting parts for a bridge base, your DIY skills ready. Let's assign a prime location for the bridge too. Okay. So he's giving me a bridge recipe. Interesting. I'm done sending your recipe for a bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nook phone. The bridge construction got them to find a good spot for a bridge and check in with me. I'll trick you to place a bridge where you can talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck. Right. Let me see what's on my stuff here. Oops, wrong part of this. Wanted to look at Nook Miles. Right, I need to get fossils. I don't have enough. I need to get some shrubs too. I've got two of them. But I assume I'm probably just buy the ones off a of leaf to get that filled in. Fish. Catch a bagworm, huh? Okay. Good for anything might have popped up as well. Wait. Are the furniture and clothing you buy is added to your Nook shopping guild? Miles for a large catalog? Certainly are now. Huh. Okay, that's the first time I've seen that. Got a few things that are nearly ready. Okay, I mean, I'll worry about the rest of that later then. But you can make after doing that one? That's a little annoying. I'm not surprised that he's gonna charge me for it. Of course, that's Tom Nook for you. 
Yep. So you basically just a sample, and then after that, you have to deal with everything yourself. And okay, where the hell do I get log stakes from? Got some my DIY recipe. Let me see from the ones I've got. Oh, there they are. Okay, we gotta make a bunch of these. That's a, is there a way to speed this up? I know you can do this, but I mean, I'm gonna have to keep doing it like until I get four of them. That's gonna take a little while to get four of these assembled. It'd be nice if I could choose to do build in bulk like this and make the make everything go like a little bit faster. Not really a big deal. One more. That should be plenty asked for. There we go. I'm looking forward to getting the terraforming stuff later on. That's a long ways off, but I mean, that's like gonna be some of the better stuff that I can afford to get. This game has got like the most customization out of any Animal Crossing. I think you can really do a lot with this. Uh, let's look at our new recipes now that we've done that and see what we can do as well as get our tools replenished, hopefully. Yeah, I don't see anything new yet. Where'd it be under? I don't think it's any of this stuff, is it? Potted ivy, interesting. Make fish bait. Huh, I don't know where the new ones that I bought from Nook's Cranny are, unless they're these, like, there might be some of these things. Wooden block furniture, huh? Okay, I mean, I can probably see that stuff when I look. Yeah, okay, I think I see what you're talking about. I get some of this kind of stuff. Okay. Let's see, right now, we need to get new tools, so... First things first, we need another shovel. Done that. Now we can make it into a better shovel, I would assume, if we're not out. Okay, we got enough. I think I need another fishing net, too. Rushing out another fishing net, I need another net. Okay, that's the only tool I think I'm missing. I'll have to deal with that in a little bit, unless... Yeah, I don't have enough branches and I need to leave. Oh, I got enough iron handy. Okay, I wasn't sure I did. That's good. We can make that work. Huh, okay. That's not too bad. Oh, actually, should have made some more log benches, but whatever. I forgot about that. Let's see, where did I do my shrubs, though? Oh, wait, I didn't buy any shrubs yet. Silly me, I forgot I was low on space. Alright, let's shake off some stuff, and then we'll get... Busy, we need a bunch of twigs, I think. Oh, that's right, I don't have a net to do anything. That's gonna be a nuisance, but whatever. I hope I don't get chased right now, because I would not be able to run away without a, or run away too easily without a net. Fucking wasps. Too bad the mm, tools I've got, even though they're better than the flimsy ones, they still kinda suck a little bit. Oh man, this is the first time I'm, like, I can feel like where I've actually really been interested in like continually playing for a while and getting the bagworm. Too bad I don't have access to the net right now to catch it. I feel like what I was looking for, or whatever. First time I'm playing where I've actually gotten to really get invested in the event though in the game. Like I'm. Every time I played, I ended up, like, not getting to the point where I was far enough in to actually check out the new stuff. Right now, I'm playing, and they're, like, adding new things, and I'll probably keep returning to it. This is a lot of fun. I hope the new, like, as they do, like, more new stuff, will be, like, plenty of events to check out. They've already added a lot. Like, they added Bunny Day, and now I've got this Earth Day stuff. Too bad I can't go straight and check out red stuff because I'm not actually far enough in game for it. Right, let's go craft. Now's the right time. 
I'm gonna make a little bit of extra for my pockets too, I think. I need to get my hands on some useful junk. Let's check the booth over here. I wanna look at the stuff available in here. I don't think there's anything important that I need. Just wanna see. Custom design pro. That's something I might wanna get. Not right away though. These seem like they're useful since they're like new things that I can look at though. All that grunt. That's what I got in the mail. Interesting. I think I'm supposed to get more when I get residential services. I'm not really certain about how this works. Not really a big deal. I would like to get my hands on more stuff I can utilize, though, and like more customization options. Watch, I'd like to get like more. Pockets, for one. That's the big thing I'm looking towards. I don't have enough space for right now. I feel like even with 30, it's still a little easy to run out. I want to get my hands on quite a bit of pocket space. There we go. Build a net there. And now let's build some DIY workbench. And just for the sake of selling. We need to get hardwood and iron nuggets. Okay, that's gonna take a little bit. I already checked the stuff here. Yeah, okay. So much to do, so much stuff. I'm looking forward to this though. Okay, did I get stuff I need to get rid of or I forgot about the manila clams. Let's go back in there and craft a bunch of fish bait. See what we can pull out of the ocean. I would assume that I'm not better off selling the manila clams and better off just using them for this purpose. Hold on a second. One's it under again. Here we go. Wait, three, I think, and then hold on to one in case I have a purpose for it. God, I, I wish I could say I'd played more in the past and like and seen more of these events. They seem like they're pretty good and I would have loved to have checked the stuff as a kid. The fact that I only really seen what the Christmas stuff looked like first time playing makes me regret that I didn't play any more than I did. It's not a big deal, but that would have been very nice to get to check out more stuff in game. But it's no big deal, really. Wait a second. That's because I thought I was missing the net that I was supposed to have just crafted. We got through Bunny Day, which is Easter, and we got through... I and mean, we're getting to this point where we're doing Nature Day. I wonder what's next. I mean, I know we've got competitions. Those will be fun to see more of. You get to see what all the game throws at me for stuff I can do. Okay, let me see. Can I do it here? Do I have to be in like a, another space? I was thinking this might be good though for building bridge. Instructions. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's the right width. About right here. Or maybe I could do it around this area. I wish I had terraforming so I could do this. Make it that much easier. Let's see, imagine. Seems like a good spot though. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, cool, we got our bridge set up. So for a bridge of land connect. Cool. Won't get to experience that again for some time, I bet. At least not until we get residential services and they'll be a little bit off too. The only, like the only complaint that I can get this game out of like all that I've played it is that I really don't like how you're kind of limited when you first start. It's not really a huge problem, but it'd be great if you could just get by that and you could go and get like a lot of tasks done. But I know they're trying to make it so there's like a bit of a pace here and you can't just zip through the game and then once you did you'd run out of things to do so it makes total sense 
I don't know if I can get like too many special villagers before I get residential yeah. services. I know I can get my hands on like some characters, like a butcher. I know Daisy may mention coming by and leap is by. I'm assuming those are like some of the only characters I'll be seeing though for some time. Oh, you see, again, I do for eat right. We want to buy shot, like, we're going to need shot for some stuff here. Alright, let's get this. We'll get one here. And then one of the other azalea bushes. Hmm. I buy some ordinary flowers. I don't know if he carries like any specific new flowers or anything. I do like leaf so far though. There's a lot of good stuff. Looking forward to making this place prettier and prettier. Also, I really want to see like new villagers pop in. Not that the problem. I'm sure we'll get some relatively soon. It'd just be nice to see some more since we've got like the same two. It's not a big deal though. What is this for? Shrubbery hubbubbery. And the shrubs usher in different seasons. They're flowers, yes. I mean, shrubs are so beady and miles as a reward. Okay, that's probably brand new then, I would assume. I haven't seen that before. Alright, let's see. Pop balloons, fossils, fish, bagworm. Okay. Let's see if I can get the bagworm to pop out again where we can actually catch it. Not what I was intending. As long as it doesn't damage the houses, obviously. I mean, whatever. That'd be funny to see that in the game, even though it'd be. Surprising to see that in a game like this. I don't know, I just couldn't imagine them letting you do that, even though it like went straight towards the house. Wonder if it's better to have more trees or less actually. I don't know if you get easier time getting stuff like money out of trees and end up getting like certain things you want easier or not. It'd be nice to have easy access to stuff and oh god. That's what I wanted to do all. Net 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 net. Got him! Ooh, that was a little close too. Caught a wasp. It's got a sting. Not a lot of time to react to it. Jeez, but hey, that gives me a pretty penny for bothering. Lousy motherfucker nearly stung me. Need a lot of hardwood to make these benches. Try planting a shrub over somewhere around. The spot maybe about right over here. I had two of them. Wait, what? Do I not have a second one? That's weird. Give me a second here. For sure I bought another one. Well, whatever. We'll go back and get another one. I was thinking I'd get that, though. Like, I'd get... I got two. Guess it doesn't matter. And I've been wondering if there's, like, any specific effects that come around with the rain. I don't think so, but I would have assumed that I could get maybe a few new bug spawns or something when I did. Doesn't look like it though. I don't know, I was wanting to see like a whole bunch of different bugs in the game. See 
Maybe like all these other species. I thought I'd be seeing stuff for all the different times and all the different activities and there's like rain and whatnot. By one, I'm not gonna bother buying in bulk. If I find the need to buy more, I mean I'm hopeful he'll come back. It's plenty for the moment. Let's see, that should be one of these tasks out of the way, right? Or, oh, I haven't had it yet. I have to actually bother to go and plant them, I guess. Okay, here we go. Let's see. One. Let's see if I don't need to water it. One over here. Seems like plenty for the moment. Okay, another Nook Miles reward in the form of getting the Nature Day thing done. That's like a thousand or something, I think, when you do it. That's a lot, actually. Sell fruit, catch a bagworm, fish. That's simple. We can do that. I didn't, I thought it'd be going on for just a little bit of time today. I'm finding I have like a lot of stuff to do though. I'm like finding myself really busy with all the activities there are. This is exciting to be able to have all these different opportunities to do so many things at the moment. I think it's partially due to the event. I'm a little sad I can't see the like, museum in red yet, though. I wanted to do that. I know I gotta unlock residential services, but still, would have been a cool way to start the day up is get that. I, I kind of had the impression I'd have to wait a little bit and then I could get it soon, but whatever. Oh, well, you know, first present of the day. Get out our slingshot. You know, seeing, like, playing this makes me kind of want to, like, check up for, like, a similar last in game to see what people have made that are in the same vein as Animal Crossing. Doesn't matter too much, but I thought that'd be fun. Ooh, 10,000 just for popping a balloon. Hell yeah, I'll take it. And we also get free Nook Miles for doing it. Good stuff getting money just for bothering with this. See how people can get them now, even though it's not simplistic. I thought I saw like times five stuff even before this event started up in the game. Hold on a second, I'm trying. I thought that's, is that a fish? I can't tell my thing is. I'm making it very easy to look, even though I'm like trying to mess the away my camera angle is so I can see better. I think it's a chimney. Just looked a little funny. Oh well. It might just be because I've played like a lot of different games and they've, like a lot of them are open world, like Mario Odyssey feels open world and Zelda feels open world. It's a little shocking how small your island feels though. Not that it's a bad thing, just I don't know, I'm used to seeing things be a lot bigger in games. And I like the I like the size though, it's nice being able to get around really easy. It just feels strange playing in the window tile, it's not massive for once. They sure give you like a massive list of stuff you can do. You know, I, haven't, I don't think I've ever started to design anything in the game yet. I might try to make my first, like, proper first setup for an actual, well, I'm saying I haven't set up, like, uh, my first proper attempt at getting being a design today. Maybe if I can work on, I was going to say I want to work on the music, too, and, like, change it to, like, a specific island theme, but I'm pretty sure I don't have that option yet. Not a big deal though. It should be nice, that's all. Hmm. 
So what is this, another fossil? There should, I would assume there's like a certain set of fossils every day, like you can get up to three. I don't know how, the, how that works. Also, I don't know if this is true, but I've read when you're up here where this spot is, you can't get fish spawns. I guess that's where red spawn is reserved at. It makes sense with these kind of sneaking in. I think after I get a little more hardwood, I'll build another. Okay, you know, as I say, another build another DIY workbench. I guess I need some more iron first, though. I have a shovel. Yes, I do. Good. That's very convenient. Let me see. I need a second to figure out where I can get more at. Here we go. I'm not actually sure, like, what I would critique this game on after, like, playing it several days. It's really fun. It's genuinely a good experience. I haven't connected to an Animal Crossing game like this in so long, and it feels good to be able to play another one and just enjoy my time in the game. Which isn't something I can say as of recently, like before this game, like I didn't really get the most out of Animal Crossing, even though I liked the series, I didn't really get into New Leaf like I was hoping to, and now it's kind of good to be able to just play and relax and enjoy every day of this. Let's see here. A second, trying to get the holes placed exactly where I want them. Turning isn't the smoothest in the world. Come on, give me plenty of iron to work with. What? Why is there like nothing on this rock? That's weird. I mean, I got a little bit of iron, I guess. I'll have to go over to another island to actually get some more after all. I wonder if the plants could have gotten in the way. I don't think so, but I don't know. Oh, did I just get a fossil? Sweet. Um, let's see, we'll swap. Yeah, there we go. I didn't, uh, God damn it! I was trying to kick the dirt back in. There we go. Give me a second, I'm looking for some more stuff to eat I need one more hardwood. I don't have an axe though. Of course. Okay, we'll just go take what we've got and use it, I guess. That'll be fine. Hold on a second, I'm actually thinking over what I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna mention something and I forgot what it was, actually. I need space for this, I think. Okay, let me see. Drop this. Or it's not what I wanted to do at all, but okay. Let's put this down then. plant some more of these actually while I've got on my mind. Could have plenty of space for it. There we go. Plant one over here. Let's get close to where that tree is. Landscaping in this game is both fun and not the easiest. You have to like really pay attention to where you want everything. I guess it adds a little bit of challenge for when you're bothering to go after terraforming though to like really think your stuff through and actually make certain you put your new things in actual good spots. That's something I like. Frankly, that's a better feature in my opinion. I feel like that's a good thing. You have to like 
really put up like a really, really great iron. An island, you just gotta like take some time out of your day to make sure it looks as good as possible. I remember watching somebody do a video on this not that long ago and somebody decided to waste their time flooding their island just to like see what would happen. I think most of the villagers tried to like leave after that was over. It's amazing how much like customization Nintendo's put in this game. You got like so many things you can do with it. Okay, I'm gonna like really quickly just link to this in Discord. I don't think it's a big deal. I just wanna go ahead and send this for anybody who hasn't already tuned in. I figured it'd be fine to wait a little while before I bothered. Okay, let's see now. I think we're gonna go over to Nook's Cranny. Actually, yeah, let's do it. I was gonna say, I wasn't sure if I needed to or not. Should be fine, though. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I kind of like the amount of freedom you get in Animal Crossing. I don't feel like there's any other game series that I can mention that have this kind of, like, replay value, because they give you, like, so much you can do. Honestly, get, like, tons of different options for how to play the game. So many activities. Uh, let me see. Weeds. Mm. I think what else I can get rid of here. How about we sell rug. I don't see myself using it. Okay, I'm gonna sell that too, actually. Not a lot, but it's fine. Clearing out space. I actually meant to go over and build stuff. We'll do that in a second. 12k, nice. That's definitely quite a bit. That's what's up to 50k. This rate, I'm gonna have enough to fill out another debt relatively quickly, too. Like, this is going by fast. I'm enjoying it, though. Right, sweet, that was easy. We need one more fish for some more miles? Hell yeah, I'll do that. That's not really that difficult. I wonder why all the new tools take like an hour and... Or at least I think most of them do, but... I like fishing rod taking it is a little bit peculiar. I guess they needed a way to make sure you upgrade them properly. Hi there, Lemon. Welcome to the stream. I'm saying you're a new person here because I don't think I've seen you before. Welcome nonetheless, though. Hanging out and doing stuff for, well, the new, I want to do some new stuff for the event, but I mean, I'm basically just getting my island looking nicer. Right now, I'm on like day three or four of the game, so I'm not as far in as I'd like to be. Welcome, though. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any multiplayer today or not, actually. I was going to bring that up for anybody who wanted to join in. I might do it. I might not. I don't really know if I'm ready to do it. I don't want anybody, like, giving me stuff that I don't really ask for, though. Ah, great hole ho. So, do you find any place to play your bridge construction kit? Yep. There we go. It's ready. Splendid. Excellent work. Thank you. And tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up. Even easier to get around the island. That's out of the way. Okay, now that's out of the way. Time to start on some homes. Wait for bridge construction to finish if you want. Ask me what should I do whenever. Hmm. Right. We'll get some stuff created over here. The workbench, though. Before you do anything else. Just to say, we're going to make sure we get the new tools first that I want. Oh, wait, I'm short on... Branches, huh? Okay, we'll do that in a second then. Uh, let's see. We're gonna make some DIY workbench. Sell to the nook cranny. Things it under again. Homeschool. There it is. Hey, two of them. One more, and then I'm gonna go back and go grab other supplies. I'm not actually sure what to do at the moment for progression. I guess I just need to keep following Tom Nook's 
instructions considering that nothing else seems like it's necessary. I mean, I could go off to an island, but I don't know like what the biggest purpose for visiting them is aside from like looking for new villagers. I know I've already got like three coming, so I'm not gonna bother looking right now. Maybe tomorrow I will. Okay, we need to get was it three twigs? Let's see if we can find some. Also, I'm gonna be ready in case something happens. Had not the best history with wasps here. Oh. Looking for this guy, actually. Cool. I only found this like one time, too. Outside of this, I mean. So how many bugs appear on those stumps is one thing I'm wondering right now. Like, I, I was I saw like another species of bug besides the beetle pop on it before, but I've never been able to catch one, so I always end up running away relatively quickly. That looks neat. I don't know if I've seen that or not. I don't, I don't understand how people are able to identify, like, fish from just looking at their silhouette. I've played Animal Crossing a long time, and I, I cannot for the life of me judge how well, uh, like, what a fish is just by purely looking at the shadow. I've seen a lot of people who, like, get it very much down to an art and can just immediately recognize what they're looking for, though. I am not one of those kind of people. Alright, I think we're not going to be getting anything else done on that list for quite some time. So let's continue with this. Uh, give me a second or two. I had a lot of things I wanted to bring up and I just kind of forgot what I was... Oh, actually, I remember now. I was wanting to talk about, like, a very peculiar topic that I remembered. And it was... Well, there's, like, some stories I had heard about, or at least I wouldn't say just stories. Like, a, a video I saw online that was, like, really kind of lame, but I wanted to talk about it in particular. Basically... This is about somebody who's acting like really poorly around like the COVID-19 situation. I was watching some guy in like a video where he came up in like a Target or a Best Buy or something and like, I think he like coughed in the employee's face and like said he had the coronavirus trying to infect the guy and I'm pretty sure he got kicked out. Like it, I, it disgusts me how like, out of, even though we're in a pandemic, like some really shitty people are around and like causing problems and there shouldn't be any need for this crap. I guess there's always going to be really terrible people out there though no matter what. Even though the whole world's in a bad state right now you still got these kind of morons causing problems for everybody. It's really unfortunate that we can't just have everybody unite to be helping during a time like this instead of causing shit like that. I think I heard about somebody else doing something similar, like a, a intentionally going out and like trying to make contact with people uh, and they claim they had the virus, like this kind of stuff, like trying to spread it and it's, it's just like, really, what is wrong with you people? There's nothing good coming of trying to spread this virus and especially not about joking about it. It's a very, very insensitive matter and if you're joking about it, you're probably kind of an asshole to be making a small or making something so big into such a small deal for you just so you can get something to laugh at. Okay, I think I'm just gonna talk to my villagers. I haven't talked to any of them for the moment, so let's do that. Make yourself at home, okay? Let's talk. It's got a nice looking place. Hey, big news, I haven't just moved on from tent life. I got a house, Sparky. Tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in a house. Now it finally feels like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. Cool. What is this thing? Is that like a... The whole place is all me, I just can't get comfy unless I got my favorite things nearby. Say, home is where your stuff is. Huh, can I not interact with it? I was hoping I could like... At least just look at it, not really do anything else. This looks kind of like a radio. Nah, actually, 
Oh, it lets me touch it, but I don't think I can choose the music? I guess that makes sense, although... I don't feel like there's actually ever any restriction on it for mess up too much of it. Really, small house. I'd give her some stuff when I get a chance to. I think you get there interacting like two, three days in a row. Whoa, Sparky, someone's feeling chatty. Yeah, let's talk a little more. Doing my part for Nature Day. I just fished a tire out of the river. I'm wondering how a tire made all the way out here. Any cars around, have you? That, that's a good question, but I mean, that's always been Animal Crossing with the weird shit like tires ending up in the river or in the ocean. I mean, I fished out a fucking boot the other day, which is a little bit on the odd side, to say the least. Okay, we need to get... Let me check my recipes again. I think I need one hardwood and maybe potentially iron. Making several workbenches because they're, like, really valued at the moment. Yeah, let's see here. One hardwood, more one iron nugget. Okay, it's not that expensive, actually. That's relatively easy to get my hands on. Just need to find a rock that I haven't already wasted. I used this, I think I did. Yeah, that one's gone about up here. Oops, shit, I should have just stayed close to it. I mean, I just need one iron anyway. It's not a big deal. Eh, it got away. Whatever. It wasn't a big deal. I was more focused on getting iron. A lot of work. We're gonna have to need another trip after all. Otherwise, I'm gonna run out of it. Alright, in we go. So, what have you guys been working on your islands, if anybody's, like, paying attention? I've been, like I said, I'm just, like, getting the basics done right now. I haven't actually gotten to do anything, like, really crazy of mine that I've been, like, wanting to look into construction stuff, but right now, not ready. Oh, I need one more hardwood. Okay, I'll go take care of that really quickly. I don't know. I've seen, like, a lot of, like, really weird, amazing stuff out there where people have done, like... Somebody did, like, a whole Pokemon-themed town where they had, they had, like, all of, like, the original Gen 2 remapped out on their island, and that was, like, really cool-looking and kind of inspired me a little bit because I want to, like, really work on mine to look nice. Also, there was somebody who did, like... Mario Brothers 1-1 is an island. Like, there's some really cool stuff that's been accomplished already, and I would love to come up with an idea like that and be able to, like, really map something out. I don't know. I'm going to think about that a little bit and try to make a really good-looking island when I get the option. Yes, chat for a little bit. Guess what? Finally on something that I even have trouble with. Then. Yep, I have a house now, hey? Got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. Finally, jumping jacks not ripping a hole in my home. Yours looks bigger than mine, maybe, or maybe it's just me. Need something, hey? Let's talk. Built for crushing my abs, eh? Feel free to steal the layout if you want to get swole. Okay, so I guess it's just like talk once a day, and then I can eventually get option to give them presents and stuff. Wow, you're really curious about the stuff in my house. Sorry, secrets are becoming a world class athlete just by staring at my stuff. <laughs> yeah, you tell yourself that. I mean, you're. Oh, you're not that bad at exercise, I'm sure, but you don't really look buff, Jay. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's go take care of what I said I was going to do. So is it just one nature day thing that pops up a day? I don't know how this works. I would assume that I end up getting, like, just, uh, like one to two, maybe more tasks per day. I only saw the first one, though, when I was looking. I would have assumed I saw more if there were more for me to work on. Actually, give me a second. I'm going to check on chat. There haven't been any messages in a while. Just want to make sure it's okay. Looks like it, though. 
Let's see, we can go ahead and get the next step started since I didn't do anything with that yet. Hurt in the nature day activities. So glad to see that, Craig. So you have to jump into the action. Time on the rest of the Yoster Isle. Now, as you've demonstrated your eco mindfulness, special presence for you. Perfect for any gardener. But the hour fee for crafting your very own hedges. Oh, that's useful. That could actually be handy later. Oh, yeah, I'm not actually focus on buying them, although I don't know how much stuff I'd need for it. Keep up the good work. I'd truly love to have you continue taking part in our Nature Day activities. Right. That's not what I came to you for, so let's try to get the next bit of the script moving here. Yeah, here we go. Original Mary Angel Tomorrow, but you want to start in the homes now? Free housing kits. Okay. Easy enough. I just need to figure out exactly where I'm going to put these things. The housing kits I just gave you'll pick out spots for three homes. Homes will need furniture and such. A list of furniture required for its house. So be sure to read those lists. Put well, everything in DIY style. Those only seeing the recipes you'll need. Okay. So I gave them furniture. Oh boy. That's all from me. Thanks for your help. Alright. Good to see you're still in the chat. I appreciate that. I mean... Let's see, what do we got here? What's well, a lot? Iron Gable. There's an Iron. I say that right. I say that wrong up there. I wanted to say, but you know what I mean. Iron Garden. Okay. Wooden bucket. Barrel. Simple bed. Log bench. There's a lot here to make, huh? He really gave me like a ton of new recipes. All right. I can work with some of this and make something out of it. Shouldn't be too hard. What I am a little concerned about is, like, the layout here. I'm worried this will be right for easily setting up any houses easily. Nook Ink Lord. Nook Miles for the number of DIYs that you've collected. Think about that. Learn earning for learning. Yeah, I remember that from before. Christ, I got that that fast. I didn't realize I was making progress. Like, in the first few days, like, two to three days, it felt like the Nook Miles were taking a long time to collect. Now I'm just like getting nook miles we're just playing the game and doing basic stuff and it's like probably gonna have a lot of use for these later because i know you can get like exchange for bells once you get a certain amount of progress in the game let's say how about another house on this side we'll do one over here somewhere too close to the ledge ah oh, god damn it what well, is kind of big compared to the can't, so I guess that's part. Actually, it, oh, that, that's okay. So we gotta do this just right, or it's not gonna count. There. Yeah, that'll work, I think. As long as it doesn't look bad, let's see what it looks like. I mean, we didn't get an overview of the house, but I'll put it there. It would have been better if we could actually see the house itself. Cool, there we go. Phone is ringing. That's new. What is this? Is it Nook? Yep, that's what I figured. Hello, is that you, Curry? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? Uh, got some ideas, I guess. Spend some relief to hear that everything's going according to plan. We check the box and run the plot for each home. Items required for that plot. Place in the box, like stereo, to be placed around the plot. They're nice and decorative now, hmm? Put the plots for all three homes and place the required items. Come report back to me. Great residential services. Thanks again for your help. This is interesting, because I don't recall this ever being a thing in, like, other Animal Crossing games, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't, like, actually, like, putting in specific items for villagers. is very, very much a unique feature here. Cherry speakers, cherry lamp, pot. Okay, so... Big cherry stuff things be for a second. Big like cherry speakers, I think, as well as cherry. What was it? Where am I supposed to find these? Or have to buy the recipes? I thought I got all the stuff I needed from Tom Nook. Now I'm not actually certain though. The there, okay, there's cherry speakers. I should be both labeled like that. I'm assuming. Cherry lamp, was that it? Let me see. I guess I can look at my stuff and see if it'll tell me. I'm sure that's it, though. 
I'm guessing these are all based on, like, my villager personality types, although it, it has to be cherry for this, I'm assuming, because it's my island's fruit. I don't have any access to anything else easily. Right, speakers, lamp, pot. Okay, got it. Let's see what we need for each item, then. I mean, I think I want this thing is cherry. I looked at the stuff, actually. I didn't pick any. They're, like, super common. Whoops. Here we go. Yeah, I need ten cherry, two iron nugget. But we don't have, like, much iron at all, actually. For this, clay and cherry. I can make that, like, ASAP, actually. Alright, we're about to go get a Nook Miles ticket to go grab some stuff on an island and get some iron. Then we can come back and finish. We'll just have to get our iron off of some island. I can at least make the first thing that's giving me the option to, though. And then we can do this. Actually, yeah, I can probably look at my lamp recipe and see what it takes as well. So where's the lamp at? I'm not actually sure if there's like an easy way to categorize and look for what you're looking for or not. Alphabetical, that, that could be useful actually considering it shows me things in the way they're just listed and lamp would be under L, right? Let's see. That's odd, I don't see a lamp recipe. I thought I got all the stuff I was supposed to be making as, like, recipes here. Do I have to buy it? I don't think so. Wait, did I read that wrong? I thought it was, like, another item that was separated that didn't have that. Maybe it was the pot. I should write this stuff down instead of just relying on memory, otherwise I'm going to actually end up forgetting some of this. Let me see. Dude, cherry items are simple enough to remember. Pot, yeah, okay, it's pot that I'm looking for. My bad. Pot, let's see what that's supposed to require. Oh, we can make one right now, actually, it's easy. So, realistically, all we're going to be struggling with is making this. That's not that bad. All right, let's go in here and sell, then we'll focus. I, you know, I've never played, like, any of the Animal Crossing spinoffs. I, I, to be honest, I hate to say it, I'm, like, still fairly new to it. Not because, of, like, not playing. I've played Animal Crossing, but I've only played, like... Wild World and City Folk. I had interest in getting Happy Home Designer, but that other game, that Amiibo Festival game, just looked kind of, eh, not really interesting enough to pick up. Okay, we need to sell this. Where's the DIY workbenches I made? There we go. These are supposed to be worth quite a bit right now. Uh, I would assume this will get me a nice sum for all the stuff I brought him. Eight thousand, yeah, these are good. I can see how they want you to make money, even though it's not like the easiest. Getting access to hot items and selling them is like really profitable. I like that. I don't remember if this was previously in an Animal Crossing game or not, with the whole hot item feature. I guess I didn't play enough to ever find out. Okay, we need to go back to Nooks after we get some more fruit together to do that. Maybe I should try to build another house before I move. I don't know, actually. First things first, let's take care of what we know we need before we do anything more. Alright. 
All right, new, let's say we'll put, yeah, we'll get somebody a house over here, actually. I want to bulldoze the plot where the orange tree's at. I don't know if they reproduce their oranges naturally, as well as me burying them, but don't want to take a chance with it. Somewhere else. We'll do the house here. Uh, we'll just put it here. I don't think it's gonna hurt. There we go. It looks fine, if you ask me. Not the most amazing in the world, but I mean, hey, it worked. And now, for. Putting in another orange tree somewhere. How about right here? Then, hmm, how about over this way somewhere? Oops. Ah, shit, that was my fault. Not the best at planning things. There we go, that looks nice right now. Let's see, did we get another DIY for planting the trees? Oh, okay, we did. Cool. I mean, I wanted to do it anyway, so basically got a freebie for just bothering to do that. Alright. Go ahead and go back in a second. We're gonna check this. Well, I didn't get to read it. It went too fast. Whoops. This again. Simple bed. Yeah, wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic picture. Okay. Sound too rough. I need to see both sides of the riverbank to go back. I guess so. Never really completely understood the pole vaulting. It's not bad, just requires some very specific measurements to get across, and I don't understand why there's a restriction on using it on the beach like there is. At least it seems like it's been like that when I tried to use it myself. I think, like, another... I didn't think about this before to mention, but, like, I don't really like how the uh, you always have to wait on, like differing hours for extra fishes. I mean, I guess there's also the monthly spawns, but frankly, it'd be nice if there was an option to, like, get different spawns, like, different days of the week instead of just waiting it out. That'd be kind of cool to have that as a function to get more fish and bugs as well. God damn it, stop turning around when I'm trying to fish you. God, I can't see what I'm doing. I need to move this tree, I think. Let me see. Or just get rid of it. That's better. Much better. Come on, fishy. What the hell? I'm pretty sure I just... Turned it into space and it whipped around on me like that. This, this fish is trolling me. Finally, that took way longer than necessary. I I never have these issues with the fishing and other games in the series. It's weird. Then comes this game, as much as I like it, that that's something I've noticed keeps happening, is like, running into slight problems when I'm fishing. It's a red snapper, gee, if only you could have put that a little earlier when I actually had one. Well, whatever. Catch bugs, alright. I gotta say, it's probably just because there's like 
just these. And it's like I'm still upgrading, but the things are very similar to the first day or two. And like I'm able to do some new stuff, but right now I'm basically doing just like more of the same getting through the game at the moment. I don't have as many options as I'd like to do things because I gotta help Tom Nook out. It's not a big deal though, actually. You don't mind one bit. Let's see here. All right, we got that crafted. I'm gonna get a Hot. Oh boy, we're gonna need a lot more supplies, aren't we, to get all our stuff we want. And I guess that classic pitcher is probably, yeah, probably required more clay. Thought I had some lying around. This one more time before I do anything. We need, oh, we need more cherries than I thought, jeez. Classic picture. Is there another classic item that wanted me to crap? I don't see any others, though, at least looking right here. That's the only one I've spotted that's got that name on it. Was it wooden stuff that I was asking for in just one classic item? Um... Okay, let me see. I think they mentioned a wooden simple bed. More wood. I'll just go look. Save me time. God, there's a lot of things they want me to build. Not that it's a problem. There is. So much here. It's a little bit suffocating how many things I've got to make in rapid succession like this. Let's see, we need to get clay from wherever it was sitting. Oh, actually, I see something I want to get right now before I do that. What a catch. Jewel Beetle, that's a new one. Okay. Fascinating. That looks new, I think. Fluttering doesn't look too familiar. Let's see. No, it's the same. Never mind, my bad. Whatever. We'll still. I'm gonna let it go, actually. Yeah, there we go. Clay. We need clay. I saw some too. Problem is, where was that at? Give me a moment or two. I'm gonna do one little thing for a second. See the glowing spot. I'll deal with that a little later, though. I wanna check on a thing on my game. I was meaning to check about a wallet upgrade. One second, I'm just looking to see if there's a way to get a bigger bell wallet. Probably just have to do more of the gameplay. I don't know. I'm not really certain. I was hoping to see if there's any specific results, and I don't see anything, actually. A little annoying. Not a big deal, though. But we needed wood. We needed hardwood. We also needed clay. I 
Could we need hardwood? I don't remember. We need a bunch of things, really, though. Hmm. There's a lot here to look at and try to figure out what I want. Here, though, let's see. Okay, I swore we had more clay, but I guess not. Another fossil. Let's flop. We're gonna go ahead and use that last cherry for a tree. I don't think it'll hurt. I mean, not cherry, but orange, I mean. Second to a bit. Let's start by donating. And then hmm. Cherry lamp pot. I've already got those, I guess I'll put them away where I need to. Just donate what we can, and also we need to go ahead and bother to get everything set up. We got a lot to do still. What? You came to the wrong channel, Wayne. It's Cray. What are you talking about? I don't know who you're referring to. Welcome to the stream, nonetheless. But I mean, what do you? Oh, you did you spell my name wrong? It's like it's, I can see that's got all my letters. The letters in my name. That's not. Hit my name very clearly. That's spelled completely differently. Welcome, nonetheless, though. I've been busy for some time. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Did I already give him a bagworm? I guess I did. He's not taking the donation. All right, whatever. Just hear about the dialogue. The jewel beetle. All right. Yes, tell me. I don't care that you don't like bugs. I want to hear about it. The green trimmer of the jewel beetle's wings is nothing short of nauseating, yes? No. I'll say so. Well, so says you. Though, jewel beetles were once prized by collectors who turned their iridescent wings into pretty jewelry. Anyone want to wear bug parts in their bodies is beyond me. Fashion foul indeed. Anywho. There we go. I guess that's got another donation. And I need to assess fossils now. Uh, things have been going pretty good. I mean, we got, like, a lot of progress in the game, so we're getting very far. Actually, getting, like, three villagers to move in, so I'm guessing I'm going to get my ladder faster than I thought I would. Ooh, those are rare fossils, each and every one. And, and have not appeared in our collection. But they're not finding valuable fossils. Is there donating what you found? The extra owl is a worthy endeavor indeed. Right, let's donate them. Fuck you, yeah, I don't mind. I mean, I was gonna... Wanted to... Hoped I had, like, a few spares that I could keep, but I don't care. I actually just got my second debt today in the game, so... I'm gonna have to try and work on paying that off so that I can get it further along. And I'm a look. The cars, I don't know what the hell that name said. Yeah, that's a well preserved one. Yeah, let's hear it. I don't actually, I mean, it's not really anything like amazing. It's been decent. I've been getting new homes ready, so it's gonna be planting stuff, or not planting, like getting stuff ready for that, and also getting like furniture for these houses that I'm supposed to. Anomal Lacaris lives in the water long for the dinosaurs. They're known for their er, distinctive look. Black bodies over three feet in length, bulging eyes like a dragonfly, antenna like shrimp tails. Looks so peculiar that people literally thought there were multiple fossils stacked on top of each other. The delightful side note, Aminomalicris means abnormal shrimp. Obviously, it was a certain reputation in the scientific community. That's a very, very interesting thing to hear about. 
I wonder how much research went into this game, like, when they were putting all the stuff in, like, the files. I'm sure it was quite a bit. Like, there's got to be, like, a large number of dinosaurs present that they can dig up fossils for. Ah, the little Thalmo Torso? That is one hell of a name. Yeah, let's get into this. Funny, I'm funny how I like saw like some of the fossils already from watching other streams, and one of them's like just a piece of dino poop, really. The adorable Ophthalmus, Ophthalmosaurus, cutest of all the itchy at the source. That, these are some really difficult words. Even though I've seen them before, but still, what makes a large sea-dwelling reptile cute? You may ask. I should tell you the eyes. Ophthalmosaurus's name means. Eye lizard, and its face was quite dominated by those great orbs. Tied to their cute, unifying effect, these eyes gave the creature great vision, making it a very successful hunter. And no doubt because its big doe eyes will praise into a false sense of security. Wow, that's, that's weird. We're getting some interesting reads today. Okay, one more. What do we get? The only thing I'm a little disappointed about right now is that I didn't get the option to expand the museum yet. I'm guessing I need to unlock the residential services and then I can do it once that's the case. Because I would like to go in and try to get set up to get red on the island. Ooh, we got a T-Rex part. That's good. I wonder what he's got to say about it. I mean, everybody knows what a T-Rex is, but still... So the T-Rex is the 800-pound gorilla of the dinosaur world. It likely weighed well over nine tons. Fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. But up to 42 feet long, banana-sized teeth. One of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. Unclear how fast T-Rex was. His estimates vary wildly. I believe I'll never have to escape one. Ooh. Oh, he didn't really say much. I'm guessing I'll get more T-Rex lore when I find the other bits of it. Right. I think we've got everything we can do in the museum taken care of right now. I wonder how many, like, art pieces and statues are going to be present. Aren't they bad? Like, quite a bit of it. I've heard from, like, answering video, they're like, 23 pieces of art or something, and like, eight statues in like a previous game, and that's cool, but I'd love to see just how much extra they added. Also, I'm really curious how difficult it is to like, actually work around red stuff and figure out what it's fake and what's real. Oh, I can catch it if it doesn't get away. That's probably not gonna be waiting on me though. Yeah, it went too fast, I think. Damn. I just saw it for like a second before it ran away from me. Oh well, whatever. I already have a beetle, I'm not upset about losing that one. Okay, let's see, I need to check my inventory first for unneeded stuff. Um, most of this is probably useful though. Let's go take over to one of the houses and deposit what we can get rid of. I'm liking how far I've like got in the game already. I mean, I kind of wish there was a little bit more that I could do, but I'm not upset. I've been having a good time, honestly, and getting quite a bit done on the side. I don't know, the gameplay has been like... I go around doing the same few activities the only real thing I don't really care for. Right, cherry speakers, cherry lamp, and pot. Submit. Here we go. That's two items. Now I need to get some more cherry and I need to get the I think, iron for it. Let's see what the exterior says. I haven't checked this at all. Hay bed, swinging bench, and barrel. Okay. Bench and barrel, I got that. Check over here for a second. Don't have any of that yet. Very specific crafting items. They make you, like, go for a lot of different things here, huh? 
I mean, I only got one person. I forgot his name, the rhinoceros. The other two seem to be people that Nook selected rather than somebody I selected. Like, he handpicked two people, and I'm not actually sure who they are, but by the looks of things, I would assume I might have Cherry as one of my villagers since it's a bunch of Cherry-themed items. They need a hastel. I need a wooden simple bed to look at this for a second. I, I need to remember to probably wrap this stuff down where I can very carefully check what I'm supposed to be looking at. Oh, that reminds me. When do I get my upgraded wallet? I'm assuming that I'm supposed to get that when I, I like actually upgrade my inventory again because it's kind of lame only being able to hold on to exactly like... 30 items and only being able to hold up to 100k bells at best. I want to be able to get more because I've seen people hold on to a lot more bells than just 100,000. Right. There we go. I'd like to be able to get more. Unless I, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's just from like other things I thought I saw, but I could have sworn you get a bigger wallet size in the game than just that. Let's see here. Was I looking for again? I need the pitcher. I need the bed. I didn't study it as well as I should have. I need a hay bed, I think it said, or hay stool, whatever it was. Let me see. This should have, like, the recipe in here that I can look up close. That's weird. I don't see it where I was looking for it. A lot of stuff to craft, too. Wow. Yeah, it's a hay bed, I'm assuming. Lump of weeds. Okay, that's easy enough to pull off. Huh. I don't know. I thought I could get more than 99k. I might have been mistaken about that. It's not a big deal. Just, I know the debts are going to get bigger and bigger. Not being able to get more is kind of, eh. Not a huge issue, but it'd be nice. Especially when it comes to red, because I'm pretty sure red's prices are like actually really high. How many weeds are there that I can pull off? I don't know if I've taken too many already. I need a lot though for crafting right now. God, you really have to get a lot of supplies together for this stuff, huh? You have to be ready for it. Hay bed, swing bench, barrel. Okay, swing bench and a barrel. I need to remember that. How many weeds do I have? One more will do it. Let's see our recipes really quick. I can figure out what I'm going to be needing. Swinging bench. Should be here. I swear you're supposed to get every recipe from Nook unless I misunderstood. There it is. Yeah, okay. I need wood. I need a barrel, too. Nuggets. Okay, we're gonna have to go on on our trip after this, I think, to get more stuff. I've been putting it off as long as I could. But yeah, I know about that. I'm actually... That's weird. I didn't know there's anything wrong with the mic. My bad, but I mean... So yeah, I actually been waiting until I get a terminal to actually upgrade, so right now I think I need residential services to get further upgrading done in the game. I don't think I can pull any more upgrades without it. Right, I think we're gonna have to take getting nuggets after this, maybe. Oh, that's another, it looks like another species, I'm not certain. Let me see. Was this one I caught yesterday? 
Yeah, Madagascan Sunset Moth. I remember bumping into that the first time yesterday. Let me guess, catch bugs? Yep, I was right. Oh, I appreciate that. I mean, I'm still, like, setting up a lot of this. That's probably why it's basic. But, I mean, it feels nice doing all this, honestly. Relaxing, fun gameplay, even if it is a little slow. Wooden simple chair. Wooden chair. I think I got the wooden simple bed ready, actually. Here we go. Have that now. And I need... Get... Wooden simple, or a wooden chair and classic picture. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go craft what I can. I'm gonna go for a Nook Miles thing after this and use that to get iron for more recipes as well as clay. Should we need to sell some of this junk too, actually, before I do any of that? That'll be next then. Your villager looks like Harvey's son. You mean like, wait, oh, you mean the dog? Yeah, uh, you're talking about. That's interesting. I haven't even seen him in my area yet. I guess he just shows up randomly. I've heard he's like a special visitor and I haven't seen him. It's not a big deal though. Barrel. Yes, we need two more of those. Okay. The. I needed the hay stool. That at. Hey, bed. There we go. Perfect. One more item, I think. Wooden chair, I believe it was. Or was it wooden stool? It was a chair. Here we go. We need. Okay, we need one wood. A little annoying, but I can resolve that. Honestly, I've been, like, contemplating whether or not I wanted to buy some of those Amiibo stickers, and I think I'm going to get some. I was going to consider just doing it purely from natural villagers, but I actually want to get some of my favorites in here and, like, have some company of some villagers I really like. I want to get the two that I was the most interested in specifically right now. Like, I want to get my hands on both... If Apollo and Alfonso would be, like, really good, and I'm going to probably... Try to get those guys once I get it, some cards picked out. Or really in cards, you know what I'm talking about. The things you can buy for cheap for amiibo stuff. And I wouldn't bother with this normally, but it's like I don't want to pay for the cards when there's like a billion villagers and I can just get the stickers and do it this way instead. It's just as easy to work with too. Right, wrong menu. Let's see here. Add the recipe? Made that. Barrel. That's not something I can craft yet. Wait, did I? Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Okay. I think for most of the other stuff, I need to go to the island. I guess we can set up the last of the homes. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have them all plotted out and ready to move. Ooh, let's see. Uh, we do roughly right over here. Seems like a good spot to put another house. No, 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 I don't want to destroy that. That's probably a spot where the orange tree is. I don't want to smash a tree that I just put down. I get this to cover up this tree. That would be bulldozing both of them at once. Eh, good enough. I'll take it. Let's see. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> I just did that. That's where he was sitting, and then the tree just despawned. Okay, that's new. I've never seen that happen. That's kind of a neat little thing. Cray? Me again. Sorry for the repeated calls. I'm trying to tell you something important. You'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. Plenty of pretty flowers growing on the cliffs on the island. Sit there if you need to. For a ladder. The ideal tool for we need to scale those cliffs. 
Hey, you know, keep up the good work, hmm? Oh, sweet, we've been needing that for a long time, and now it finally is available. It's like my last missing tool, actually. Good, good. That means we're not cut off from any part of the island anymore. Now we're able to, like, actually work around that. That's good. Still need the residential services, but I mean, frankly, having a re ladder recipe is going to be really useful. Alright, let's do the chair, and then I'm going to check on the ladder recipe. Let's see. Not my, I guess I have to actually check and learn it, maybe. Or maybe not, let's see. There it is, let's see. It's a lot. Go ahead and make one. There we go. I've been needing this for so long. Finally, complete tool set, at least as far as I'm aware. I should have figured I would need a little more wood. Alright, let me go get some more. Still, this is exciting. I'm getting progress. I don't even need the miles tickets used up yet. Feels like most of the other days it was me, like, catching bugs and stuff. Now I'm, like, helping out these houses, which is interesting and fairly nice change of pace, though. I actually kind of like this a little bit. Just getting softwood. I thought I'd be getting a little more in terms of different tree types, but different wood. There we go. Finally. A lot of softwood. Drop. We have some rocks up here. We might actually not need to bother going anywhere if we do. But there's some up here too. Probably some new fish that I couldn't reach either. Dig this up then, see what we've got here. Metal detector later in, or in on the game, that's surprising. Like, there's a lot of things you can do here in this game. Not surprising though, Animal Crossing has always been like jam packed with a lot of activities. Good stuff, wow. Thought there was like less to do now. Oh, I need to see another bug. I'm gonna be quick enough to catch it though, it's probably gonna get away from me at this rate. The B, I think. Honeybee. Okay, cool. I haven't got a honeybee yet. And, I mean, I thought they would be gone. I think they have, like, different types of bees in the other games. And this one, I guess it's just, like, one or two bee species. And the bee that came out of the hive has been replaced by the wasp. Kind of not a bad change, though, because I don't really like wasps anyway. I don't even know if there is a real-life version of a wasp that actually lives in a nest, at least not as far... Oh, yeah, they do live in a nest. I was going to say, I don't think there is, but never mind. There's definitely wasp nests. That's my bad. I had a brain fart there. Uh... Okay, I don't see any rocks. I guess we're trying to climb down. Huh. There's water in the ambience. That's neat. I'm gonna chop this tree out of the way. Interesting stuff here. There's a lot of island to explore that we couldn't reach before. Makes me happy we can see everything we're trying to look at, though. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I was feeling like I was missing out on, because I couldn't explore the cliffs yet. Now I can, finally. Now I just need residential services to really get a perfect experience of getting, like, all sorts of stuff. No iron? I mean, I'm not complaining about the clay, but... 
Expected a little bit of iron. Maybe we'll need the ticket after all. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Hmm. You know, I, I wonder why they cut out so many features. So like that people were talking about the Dream Islands, like between like like New Leaf and this, and also the swimming, like there's a lot of stuff that's gone. I guess they're planning to re-add it back in like a future update. They brought in like important characters. I would love to see some of those features from previous games return. Some of the stuff that I mentioned like Wild World and, and City Folk would be cool to see again too, although it wouldn't be a big deal. Like how those... Yeah, I'm talking about those turnips. Those masks were kind of neat, too. Those were a little on the weird side. Dig it up. I guess this is I guess this is the only rock we hadn't messed with. I don't see any more, unfortunately. That's a little lame. Not that it's a big deal. We yeah, have quite a few fossils we were able to reach at this thing that we couldn't get to before. That's surprising. I didn't think there'd be so many. Alright, let's get down. Surely me collecting all this clay gives me access to some new stuff that I couldn't get for the houses that I needed, though. Let me see. We'll find out in a second or two. Probably gonna have to refresh the list and check what I needed a second time so I can do this properly. see here. I know what I need for the interior of the first place. Let me see. I think I need iron, though, and I don't have it yet. Let's go back and get some more. Make this classic picture that I was missing, though. One thing we can get out of the way. Actually, let's go sell some junk. I think we're overloaded. Yeah, we need to get rid of some of this stuff. Got a lot on our hands at the moment. We're, before we do that, we, we can go pay Blathers another visit and see about all our new goodies, too. Let's go do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here we go. You still there, Wayne? I'm just curious, because you haven't said much, that's all. And I'm curious what it'll look like, because I want to do, like, a night stream. I want to see how Blathers' dialogue changes when I come at night time. If he's anything new to say, right. I want to make at least one donation, and then after that, I'll go ahead and bother with assessing the fossils. It'd be kind of nice if I got some stuff that I could sell, but I mean, whatever. Honey bee. You really don't like bees. I mean, they're not the best since they sometimes attack, but I mean. If you're nice to them, they usually won't bother you. Then you know it takes a team of honeybees working together to transform flower nectar into honey? Indeed, forager bees suck nectar from flowers into their honey stomachs and then fly it to the hive. Hive bees then chew the substance, spit it into the honeycomb, fluttering their wings to dry it out. As you could say, honey is a tasty tribute to the hard work of the humble honeybee. Oh, oh my. Must confuse my lengthy description for admiration. You know, the honeybees are still insects and stuff's still ghastly. He looks so proud of the fact that he hates bugs. A wee bit less ghastly than most, I admit. Right, there's that, and I think I can only donate that without donating the fossils. That's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and assess. Yeah, yeah, we know. You want to look at my fossils. Here you go. See if you find anything for your collection here. Ooh, more than one, I see. Take a closer look. Ooh, each and every one. That's good. I didn't realize I'd be bumping into, like, five unique fossils at once. Alright, let's donate. There's a ton of stuff here. Let's see. Our 
Archelon Skull. There's so many boring dinosaur names I've ever even heard about there being mentioned here. Not that I mind, it's just surprising to see so many. Like, there's a ton of stuff that I'm finding out about. Ah, oh, yes, Archelon. Hold on a second. Get my thing back here where I can see this. Sort of a huge sea turtle, largest thus far found, if you want to know. It's surprising, very surprising. S sea turtle fossil. They're very sizable, some 13 feet long, with a shell the size of a small car if you're into that sort of thing. They ate seaweed, shrimp, octopus, and possibly ammonites, given they are involved. Seems certain giant turtles had to be prima donnas and eat some of the oldest life forms on Earth. Fascinating stuff, wow. Alright, next fossil. I wonder how many of these are split up and how many are like in one piece. Probably not a whole lot, though. I bet most of them are set up in several segments. They float tail tip, huh? That's interesting. We got a diplo tail and now we got the tip of the tail. Didn't expect it to be short on the tip, I mean, alright. Good old Diplodocus, what would we do without you? Stop, fellow, and buy you all the best in dinosaurs. This is tail and above all that extraordinary net. Center of rice, that's thing that's probably easy. Yeah, I've already heard this before. Long neck, ability to greatly increase its reach for eating plants. Or no adults, like, yeah, 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 you told me this. I actually, I thought you'd be getting different types of dialogues based on, like, the different stuff we donated. Like, we'd get possibly new descriptions and, like, more info, but it turns out some of these do share some of the same information. That's not a big deal, though. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of going to the things and submitting anything we can. Oh, that reminds me, I think I have a house over here that I didn't check on, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that was my fault. I didn't mean to shatter that flower like that. It's a little bad. I've been paying attention. Oh, it can still grow. Not a mean. Whatever. Let me look at my map. There we go. Okay, I see. It's over there. I thought I put it on the other side. Not that it matters. It's not a big deal to me. Just checking where I put all the houses at. Hmm. A lot there. Garden chair, garden table, birdhouse. Okay. Built that in a second. God, this is a busy day in the game. Just so many tasks to complete. Hey, bed, and barrel. Also, swing bench. Okay. Did I make the hay bed yet? I had enough for at least one or two of these things. Let me see. In fact, I thought I had enough for most of those. Let me see here. Oh, but I need more than one barrel. Iron nuggets, right. Like that? That's right, I think I might have to look again. It's not as a checklist, maybe. Hmm. Gotta check this really carefully. Definitely the biggest thing I think I'm missing is just the iron, though, for this. I think I need lots more. Could 
feel weird collecting all these items, not that I mind. There's a lot of stuff they're expecting me to do, wow. A bed, swing burnt, inch barrel. I don't get any of it, huh? Okay. I mean, I can deal with it and make it happen. Weeds, okay. Barrel. Wired to iron. Swinging bench. Oh, we got enough of that swinging bench. Okay, I'll do that when I get a chance. Check on this thing over here, actually. Hmm. That's weird. What did I do? Hey, Dad, then. I thought I turned it in. Did I sell it by mistake? Well, I look, now I got a hay bed. Did I get the wrong item? I have a hay bed, though. Can I not submit it? Oh, plus some of the man right there. Okay, that's why. That's my bad. I should have realized. Swing bench barrel. Okay. that. I don't think I have any of that stuff yet. There's so many things to craft up and it's just like, I want to do all this stuff. I don't want to be waiting and doing it later. What do we get? Angriest butterfly. Is it the same thing I caught earlier? It looks different in color, but okay. I thought it was a more yellowed color to an extent. Well, whatever. Right, let's see. Let's sell first. There's like so much stuff to deal with and I don't mind at all, but it's just like a little overwhelming at times, honestly. Six thousand, good enough for me. Right, okay. What do we get now. Cool. Yeah, wow, wow, we're getting so many easy tasks here where it's like, that's a thing I'll be getting in like just a matter of time because I've already got like all these crafting things I'm required to do at the moment. Let me check the recipe or the things like by the first house and at least see what the game wants me to collect on before I have a chance to forget again. I know what I need for the last interior. Swing bench and a barrel, okay. I can make the swinging bench, I think. There we go. This is like the busiest day of the game so far for me. I have not had a single day that's like taken me this much time to get through. Like I've been going after getting all this stuff done and getting all these things. So it's a little bit overwhelming by a tiny bit though. All right, all right there we go. There's that. See if there's anything else I'm gonna make that I need. Uh, 
I need to make a classic pitcher. As well as cherry speakers. Okay, I mean, we got a good chunk of this. I think I need this too. Okay, I'm gonna go place the items that I've got. I don't know if I can get any more of the stuff they want without going to an island. There's a lot here to digest, though. Okay, let's see here. Plot number one is over here, and plot number three is not that far off, so I can just check this. Check the list to make sure. Barrel and swinging bench. And I don't have the barrel, but I got the bench. I wonder if this will cross it off, or if it needs to be, like, super close. Find out, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that works. Cool, we need two items for this housing plot. Coming along and decently, but slowly, unfortunately. Wooden chair, classic pitcher. We'll submit the classic pitcher that we've got. Log dining table, log bench, wooden bucket. I don't think I have any of those yet. Log on a wooden bucket, huh? Alright, we'll get started on that stuff as quickly as we can. Right now we need to go to the other house. this. It should be nearby, right? I wish the map was, like, on the corner. Not that it really bothers me. I think I may have scared off something I would have wanted to get. Shit. I guess it's not a big deal, though. It was by the museum. Okay. Trying to make sure I get this right. There's a lot to take in here. This isn't exactly how one of my islands lay out, even though it's not bad. Just want to organize it a little more. I don't feel like I've got quite the organization I was looking for. That's, oh, that's right. The plotting. That's right. The plotting zone. I keep forgetting about that. It's okay. Right. I don't have any of that yet. Birdhouse. Okay, let me place that. There we go. Does that work? Good. Now the interior. Wooden block stereo, wooden block table. Okay. And the pansy wreath. See what we can make for that. It's a lot of stuff. Wooden block table, I think it said. They really expect you to make all these things in like a short amount of time. Just takes a lot of time to get it all together, huh? Okay, right. Stereo, I'm short on iron nuggets. And I need a wooden block toy, apparently. Wooden block toy, where's that at? Bookshelf. Hmm. Okay, you're right at the toy at then. Oh, this thing. Okay. I can do two of these easy. Wow. 
There we go, okay. And craft these new items. Hi there, Gumball GD2, welcome to stream. Been working on stuff in my game for a while. Trying to fill out things for my new villagers that are moving in. Enjoy the stream. Going through progression stuff because I got the game a lot later than most people did, unfortunately. Okay, I need one softwood and iron nuggets. That's fine. Let's go ahead and turn in what we've got. Oh, yeah, okay, that's not too bad to gather. Let's go ahead and get our Nook Miles ticket. Hope I get a lot of stuff opened up as soon as regimental service is available. I'm sure it'll be available by tomorrow. I intend to keep doing this until I get all these houses ready. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna place this before I forget. That way I don't have any issues making certain that I can go get the house ready. I'm not doing multiplayer right now. I'm more focused on my single player stuff. I've got a lot of stuff before I'm even like at a spot where I'm comfortable to have villagers over because I want to get lots of features unlocked that I don't have access to yet. So I'm waiting on that. Sorry, I need time for I'm ready to do that right now. Today is probably not the day for that, to be frank. Okay, I might do these a little bit later when I've got more stuff I'm not focused on. Wait, she want to talk to me? Let me see. What am I need today? Hang on. Frank? Camera? I thought she was actually trying to look into, like, talking to me, but okay. Congrats on the house. Looks like Tom Nook really came through for you. Black inside. For soon. I mean, it's, it's not been upgraded to the next phase yet, but okay. I think it's exterior I want to look at, unless, no, okay, exterior is the other stuff that I didn't have. There we go. Cool, okay, we gotta get more progress done. We'll probably just go to the island. I'm sure we'll get access to wood to do so this. We need to go make haste. I'm surprised it hasn't been three hours yet. I thought it had been, and... Feels like it. Been playing a while. I'm really flies in this game, huh? Feels like it's already over. I'm to do Mario Maker at some point, and here I am busy with this. Yeah, let's use the I'll stick it right now. There we go. Alright, cool. Actually, hold on a second. I need to actually check my stuff for too much space. I didn't do that before. I'm saying, go yourself prepped and ready for setting off. And then come back, back when you've got all your ducks in a row, or so to speak. Um. Hmm. You know, I'll just go with what I've got. It shouldn't hurt. I just remember the recipes I need. I think I've got enough good stuff to make it work. Alright, let's go. Yep, let's go. No waiting around. No beating around the bush. I think I am well prepped to get off on an island. I don't care. There we go. Alright, cool. Didn't know if I was going to need this today, but turns out the iron is just not there at the moment. Still, there is just so much to do. I love it. I'm Dr. the Dargan. I'm sorry, Alan. But yeah, yeah, I know. Blah, blah, blah. We'll get moving. Alright, let's see. Hopefully there's some cool stuff to get here. Oh, another villager I wanted to look at, too, but I mean... If I want them, I guess I'll talk to them and see how they are. Ooh, 
that's in the way too. Axe. Yeah, see what I'm doing? This is in the way. Now I'm taking up a lot of space. Feeling that might be the case. I don't know if this will hold me or not, actually. We'll see, I guess. Hmm, maybe I should do it over on this side instead. That doesn't really work either, though. Let's try it like this, I guess. I had a feeling that might happen. Can't dig a hole either to stop it. That's an annoying placement. I don't think I could terraform on a building or terraform on a poor island whether or not I wanted to anyway, but. Ugh. Oh well. Let's keep moving and try to not worry about it too much. Good. Need more iron. Come on, iron. Even though I'm playing Animal Crossing right now, I almost feel like I'm playing Minecraft from like doing all these different tasks. That's weird. That's a big deal. Just like I'm not used to doing all this kind of stuff in Animal Crossing games. Feels refreshing though. Really nice. Okay, now we've done that. Let's see. Block stereo would be an option if it's ready. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Crafted one of the items we needed. Let's see about the cherry thing we were looking for. Cherry speakers, yes. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, any more I can make off my list? Uh, I need a barrel. I don't have any... I need more wood, actually. That's what it is. Okay. Let's see. Hold on a second. I'm thinking here. iron-based stuff, I thought. Is that it? I don't remember what it was. Go back and look. I need log stuff, too, though. I'll make this first. Log bench. Uh, I don't remember what the other log item was. Maybe it was a log dining table. I'm gonna have to look at the stuff. I think we're pretty good on our recipes, though. Some more iron to take back with us. Also, catch some fish. It's been a very, very good day. Decent profit. Nice amount of stuff crafted. Looking to get plenty of villagers tomorrow as well. Like, there's been activities, like a ton of them. Let's see here. That's not what I wanted to do, though. Okay, well, can I take this, or is it... I don't guess so. how these are like centered in a really awkward spot.
works, not perfect. That's odd, they didn't give me eight, unless, I don't know if there's something of organization there, but I mean, whatever. I don't mind, as long as I get plenty of stuff. Let's catch a few fish. I'm curious what these are. Usually they should have like newer fish. At least it seems like they typically do. Always fun to catch other species though. Bluegill. I've already got one of those, but I mean, okay. Calls me pink lunk, these jokes, man. Some of them are painfully dumb. What do we get this time? Crucian carp. Okay, nothing amazing. Drop something here. As I say, I don't really want to be stuck with running into this issue because I want to be able to get as much as I need off this island. Hi there. I mean, right now I'm not doing multiplayer, so this isn't really the best place to ask for turnip prices. I don't even have um, my first Sunday where I can buy them yet for like another few days, actually, so. God damn it. Spot on this island is not the best for getting supplies, honestly. Not a problem, though. It's probably enough for right now. Wait, what? I don't need it. If I got a whole set of stone, we'll just ignore it. Talk to this guy. I don't know who this is. I haven't seen a lot of the villagers. Or this is a female character, huh? it looks like. Let's try, I'm Bettina. You're Craig from Yostra. I'll have to talk to me about traveling. Make new friends. He seems nice, let's see. You hear what they say. I've traveled and broadened your horizons. He has given me a new perspective on life. Back on my island. I like it well enough, but move over to my island if you like it. I mean, it seems like a decent place. Interesting idea. You know, I think I might have gotten to your island about moving there a while ago, Eakers. I've got right on rare spell here. That means a lot. We're back to move as soon as I get back from this tour. Oh, okay. Apparently, this person was already going to move. That's. I don't know if that's like. script the dialogue or what. I guess I was going to catch another fish. Let's see if we can get one more and see if we get anything special, though. I don't really feel like I'm going to care about carrying this flower back with me. What did we pick up here? I only have seen this. Or not have pale chub. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the flower. There we go. Fascinating stuff. There's just so much to look for and do, honestly. I think you're at the point where you've ran out of stuff and then you find you've got more than you realize it's still left that you can do. Animal Crossing is a good time. Alright. I think that's a new one. Bell bottle. Bell bottom. Heavy metal is the stove top. It's like with your eyes over. That, that's a hell of a sentence you just uttered there. Put platoons and fly. It's soaring a little back. <laughs> the Oster, oh, okay, that's a hell of a sentence, like, wow, they managed to make the dialogue very diverse and interesting. Alright, let's go. 
think the first thing I'm going to go place down all the items I already have and then look into what I haven't made yet. Did I just wave to him? I mean, I'm surprised, but still. I guess Wilbur is used to carrying me off the islands now, making buddies with him. Let's see. Interior. I think I have a stereo, yeah. There you go. There's that. Now for getting exterior. Iron garden chair, iron table. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we got enough for both of these, actually. We'll do this now, then. Hmm, need flowers. Okay. We'll deal with that. There's just a lot. Wow. I don't mind, though. This is very, very relaxing at the moment. I've got a say I'm curious about Happy Home Design or not, even though it's not really a big deal. Like, that's a interesting looking spinoff and frankly it seems like it could have a good thing to like play the gameplay and get a little bit of a twist on the formula and experience some newer stuff. I feel like that might be kind of nice to check out for this. Okay, right. Um, in that case, let me just see. What am I this stuff. Really? I thought I got rid of the flowers that I wasn't holding on to. Alright. Give me a second. I mean, if I get rid of these two things I'm crafting, I'll be a little more free on space. I mean, might as well try to get this done. There we go. Okay. Right. Do this again. Perfect. Almost everything I need for a house there, but not quite. Okay. House number two is nearly got all its items required filled, though. It's like exciting to say we're that far along already. Garden chair and garden table, I got both those for you. the interior. All the exterior houses at home are placed outside and ready to go. Good. Pansy wreath. Okay, that's only one. Not that bad. Next two houses. And we finish that one, I think. I hope I can get a little bit of extra money for the debt. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though, at the moment. Cherry speakers. And what do you know? We got it. Hard materials over this home. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now we gotta check on one missing thing on the exteriors, I think. Barrel. Did we make that already? Let me see. I 
think we did yet. I think we should have the supplies for it, though. I don't need one more wood. Okay, that's not too bad. To do that, we'll have everything for this house, I think. Softwood right now, badly. So, oh, there's some wood. There's the flowers we need too. Okay. Let's see how much is left. Wooden chair. Log dining table, log bench, wooden bucket. Okay, log stuff. I already don't think I have any of it though. I have one. Let's climb up here. Might as well get as much of this done as we can. I think we're nearly through with the houses. Good stuff. Steady work done today. Let me check my stuff over here before I forget what I need. I need a pansy wreath on one of these. Wooden chair. One. Maybe another log item. Log dining table, wooden bucket. Let's see what's over here. I want to do some Mario Maker soon after this. Not today, but I mean, in the near future, I'd like to do quite a bit more. Do some the update, maybe even try to make my first level in the game so that doesn't bother to. I'm putting some efforts on the first game, and I never did much on that. There's, looks like it's probably not getting more updates. That last video is to show for it. Looks like a lot of Nintendo games get updated and they don't get, like, any more feature updates. It's a little bit lame to say they're just done, but I mean, I guess it's necessary they stop after so much time. Yeah, barrel. Okay. There's one. And we needed other stuff, like, we need a log. Dining table? I think so. Yeah. We need that pansy wreath while we're at it. Good. A lot of DIY items so far. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something, and I'm not sure entirely if I remember what everything I needed was. I'll look in a second. Was, this is one of the things I did not have this log dining table. We'll check our lists when we go do it, though. Hey, Brian, welcome back. Yeah, I'm, like, getting a lot of items collected, and I'm nearly done. Not quite. Need a little more. Okay, let's see. This was complete on the exterior, I think. Interior. Pansy wreath. There we go. It's curious what the dialogue says since I've finished all of it. Oh, there we go. All the required interior exterior items are ready for this home. Sweet. Kind of expected I'd get a little victory animation like I do for certain other tasks, but I mean, I would assume if that's the case, it'll be for everything. 
There's there's a lot here, wow. Takes like a good amount of time if you're not prepped ahead of time. Right, let's get exterior done then. I wasn't trying to get my progress in the game. I'd go for just setting up and doing a different game tomorrow, but I want to like most of the stuff done already. Oh, I need a barrel lot side. Okay, it's not that bad. I almost forgot about doing that. One over here then. By the way, I think I might do something with like watching some stuff online, like watching some videos or anime if anybody wants to join on that. I don't know. Figure that's the case. It'd be fun for everybody to do and hang out. Not, it's not a big deal. I don't know if anybody's listening right now. I just thought I would bring that up. Either way, doesn't matter too much. Just thought I would suggest it. I have like a thing I set up on the Discord finally, so just bringing it up. I don't know, I'm just filling out the prerequisites the game's giving me. They're not that use it, it's completely unimportant to me if they, like, as long as I get this done. Wooden chair, I gotta finish a wooden chair, okay. And their log. Dining table, I think, too. Yeah, okay. Wooden bucket. Right, let me see really quickly. I already okay. That's a, I think just made a that was a barrel. I was thinking of it since I thought I made a wooden bucket, but nope. I need a log dining table, I believe. Yes. I'm gonna have to, I don't remember what the last one said. I'm gonna have to double check it really quickly. Wooden chair, log dining table, and a bucket. Was that it? Okay. It's a wooden bucket recipe, actually. I don't know why they, why they have to get all this. Hopefully, it actually will have a purpose. Like, I'm guessing there's a reason for this, but I mean... I guess they just wanted a way to keep the gameplay going. It's just, like, relatively slow. Gives you something to do, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if I find the next time I come on, I have even more tasks to follow. Mm. I think one of my only things I don't like about this is, like, the fact that you have to continually travel. Well, I say a lot of things I don't like. There's a lot of good things about this game, too, but, like, I don't like how you have to travel a lot to get all the supplies you want. Like, you want to get, say, iron? Well, you're gonna have to probably move from your island to another island if you need, like, a bunch of it. That's annoying. Or you have to find something exotic, but I don't think the game's asked for too much like that very often. Although the first Nook's cranny upgrade to, like, make the actual shop did kind of actually require a lot. Oh, he's asking me about progress. There's nothing with the plots and homes and the furnishings and whatnot. I guess because I actually finished a house or two. Yeah. Wonderful. I like to hear. Your part. Welcome to Shark and welcome to our new residence. Done quickly and get it done right. Or goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. I'm letting the island know about folks moving in or out during my island broadcast. Move into a certain home. Plus the info and the sign for that plot. Curious, check the signs. You keep the good work. Interesting. I guess it's not like set in stone who's moving in yet, maybe. Kinda expected I'd get an answer very quickly. Okay, I'm one wood short. About the Dang, I need a lot more wood than I thought I did, huh? Log dining table, wooden bucket. What was the other one? It'd be that hard to remember. I don't probably use what they wanted off the top of my head.
I have a terrible memory, Jesus. Oh well, I mean, I can get more wood. That's the big thing I need to remember. I hope I'm gonna get rewarded for this. I don't care too much, but it's like, it takes forever to do all this. Also, I wonder how, like, exploitable the whole go for getting thing like a hot item will be in the future, because it seems like just getting it today, like, already wielded a lot of money out of it. I can imagine that's going to be, like, a great way to build up really fast. I haven't found, like, a proper way to get bells. So, I mean, this could be a good thing, honestly. Let me see. I don't want to waste too much time gathering wood and then getting the wrong type. Yeah, I needed 15 hardwood. It's quite a lot, too. For this, and then for my bucket. Oh, I've got enough for the bucket already. Okay, so it's just the hardwood now. Actually, the cliff tops have hardwood on them too. Okay, I can do that actually after I. I'll just go ahead and craft and then I can check the other item a second time. Wait a second, wait a second. Did I check my inventory well? Okay, I've got it all crafted. I wish there was, like, a way to, like, if, like, there's a way you could, like, have, like, certain things you're looking for listed and just go through and, like, craft stuff, like, relatively quickly without having to select it from the menu every time, like, you're doing this and you could, like, select items of interest that you're looking for. It'd be nice just to have, like, a little bit of some sort of, like, quick build feature to, like, speed the process up just a tiny bit. It's not a big complaint, but, I mean... How many different tasks you have to do in the game, it'd be nice to just have like a little bit of something to make them go by that much faster. It's relatively a small thing though in the grand scheme of things, I don't care too much. Be, okay, at least should have hardwood, I would assume. Let's see. Also, wow, they really, like the islands... Then it started to feel small at first, but when I get that ladder, it feels so much more open now for me to explore. Like, I'm not anywhere near as limited. That's weird. Did it not fall because it had... So what? Are the weeds blocking the hardwood? That's... that's not least like the... Weeds? I didn't expect that could actually happen. Okay. Who bought the land? I think the rhinoceros got one, and there was a mouse villager that I just talked to, supposed to be moving in, so I think those two are getting the land out of, like, two of these. I don't know what the other one is yet. Let me see. Check our thing for whether or not we got enough of the recipe now. Hey, enough hardwood. Good. Climb down. Oh, by the way, just like a small conversation thing that I've been meaning to talk about anyway, and I'm actually back on watching One Piece now. I actually started back on a few days ago after there was an announcement of there being continuation finally in like the first bit of the tenth season getting dubbed. I'm going to switch over to subs after I watched all of season ten, but I figured I'd be interested in watching that and seeing... All what's happening there. Right. Wooden bucket. Log dining table. Another one's a wooden chair, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Okay, we can put one down. I want to talk about that a little more, actually, but I'm not going to talk until I'm a little focused. Give me a second. I've got a lot here to focus on. All right, log dining table. Wooden chair. Bought the wooden chair's recipe. I haven't checked it. Let's see, wooden chair. Oh, I can make that too. We have enough supplies to get both of them done. That's good. It saves up quite a bit of time too. 
So yeah, I was watching One Piece. I started on the season nine stuff and started like watching the post time skip stuff. I've been taking it really slowly so I didn't run out of episodes. It's kind of weird watching it like right now. It's not bad, but it's like watching like the pre time skip stuff and then watching where it's at now. It's like there is like a huge power difference in the span of the two years. It almost feels a little bit ridiculous when you watch it, but I guess it makes sense because they spent two years getting stronger and stronger. The whole Mermaid Island arc, I'm only like getting started on it, but I'm not actually really curious about the villain in that because I only saw like a little bit of his face from like the intro and like seeing him getting shown for the first time. I think it was, wait, wooden chair, that's it, yeah. Right, make sure I don't craft the wrong item. That'd be bad. Wooden chair. Okay, I think we're good there, unless I fucked up. Marina or Octavian? Those are from the Splatoon thing, I think, aren't they? I mean... I, I don't know. I haven't actually looked into either one of those villagers, and I thought they some of those were not getting added back. I mean, might be nice. I don't know. I think I need to add the log dining table out here before I say anything else. I mean, if that one villager that could, like, work as a bouncer, that could, like, kick people out of New Leaf was in the game, that'd actually be helpful, because that would be just, like, a way to get people out faster. Okay, I got it backwards, I bet. Great. Or did I? Let's see. Okay, I thought I had the right thing. Uh, I guess it's not in the right vicinity? I thought it was. I guess I'll move it up a little bit. Does that count now? It should. I put it on the right plot of land, and I'm pretty sure that's the right item. There. There we go. Let's see. Wait, this means... Finally! All the home and furnishing prep work is done. That took a good long amount of time to pull off. Would I get Bob? Villagers? Uh, I don't know exactly. I don't remember like every villager in the game. Like I said, I played like a very small amount of the games, unfortunately, so I'm not familiar with everything. I'd be kind of Nice to like see some of the villagers who didn't make it from New Leaf to this game get in. Like they cut out the Zelda themed villagers. Hornsby, yeah, I talked to that guy already. I remember Hornsby. Let's see who's over here. This one seems to be unreserved, it looks like, which if I can go and take care of that, it should actually wait a second. I need to figure out what the prerequisite for me getting the my hands on. Yeah, oh shit, is it too late to pop it? I don't think it is. Let me see. I forgot what I was gonna say until now. I'm gonna wait until I get this popped anyway before I continue. I'm cheating way too early. There we go. What do we receive out of the present? Another 10k bells, that'd be nice. Cooler box. Okay. Seems good enough for me, honestly. I need to sell some shit now that we finally got enough space for it. Anyway, where was I? I was talking about something besides this. Oh yeah, I need to check on what the prerequisites to get residential services up. I'm pretty sure it's probably just get, like, all these land plots done, though, and get enough villagers moved in. That's what I'm concerned about right now is getting the residential services because that's like the big thing I'm missing that I really need right now. I got my ladder, thank God. Ah, oh, great, hello, hello. I'm going to the last boat. Just to finish the plots and furniture. It's all done. Goodness, really. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Rest up to me. Start at home construction right away so I can welcome our new residents. If I get this done quickly, you can get it done right. Find a new home soon as tomorrow. You said the same thing earlier, but okay. Mind letting Alan put. I'm not letting the folks moving in 
in or out during my island broadcast. I know we'll move into certain tunnels, then follow the sign for that plot. Check the signs. Friend, you have finished everything I asked of you. Ah, give you a token of my appreciation as promised. Yes, that's this is for you. What do we get? Fencing or something? Okay, that's what I figured. Surround your home to create a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Easier for you to create yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I not have use for it. Yeah, it doesn't mean I might not end up wanting it, so sure. Here's some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Yoshkar Isle. 50 pieces of simple wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. That's a nice amount of wood. Future will offer some DIY series you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. That's going to come in handy. Dave and Walker variety designs. The Nook stop sometime. Hmm? Could have done this without you, Grace, for certain. Dang, we made a lot of progress, actually. That's good. Let's see if I got any more dialogue I need to run into. Uh, let's see what he says. So, yes. Question. We have the home driver here, isn't so nothing's bringing to mind right now. Celebration ceremony. I don't know what this is about, but sure, I mean, we might as well do the ceremony. It's been on here for a while. Let's see what it happens. Part in a ceremony? So we're so many different things right now. True, this is a wonderful island moment. I want to take part in. Oh, there's a lot. Wow. They're nook cranes, I guess. Splendid. Started. Alright, let's get started. Okay, wow, there's more events than I realized. Not that it's a bad thing. Now then. Our dedication. Ceremony honoring Yoshua's brand new nook, nook and cranny. Your nook cranny, yeah. Looks nice. Not a lot of people here, but that's okay. It was hard as a deserted island. There really wasn't much here, but now. And to up thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. Has Timmy and Tommy say a few words or as a nook cranny? Timmy? Tommy? Good, please. Thank you, Yoster Al. you, we've opened up a proper shop. Brother and I work hard to make it the best shop. Didn't count on your business. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next few words on you. Made many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook's Cranny built. Regardless of representative, oh, they want me to talk. I mean, uh, I'll just do this. That's a old silly, but okay. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiment. I didn't even say anything, but okay. Everyone, so you're ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. For those wishing to take a minute of photos, you're ready to press the button. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't make any more clear than this. Let me see, I'm gonna shake one now, but I mean. Oh, there's a better shot I can get. Hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Yostral's beautiful nooks cranny. Hooray! Okay, that's probably pretty good. Do another one or two. That should be plenty. Thank you all. It's our ceremony. Take care on your way home. Huh. Okay, I've never done that. That was neat. Let me, let me see what Google says on this topic. I don't think it's going to matter too much, but I do want to see what I'm missing. To unlock residential services. Resident services. Let's see. Found a few articles on this. Uh, first, I have to pay off my loan, which I did already. Did the Nook's Cranny. I need to move in another resident, it looks like. Okay, I mean... So, hmm. I think the answer is I just need to get one more person to move in. If I'm only getting two, I need to go scout out for somebody else. So, the answer would be if I want to speed things up, is to just go on another Nook Miles tour. How many miles do I even have actually right now? Oops, wrong part of this. This is where I want to look. Got 5,000. I mean, probably get a bunch of extra goodies to work on tomorrow anyway. 
plant trees. I mean, hmm. Well, there's some easy things to do here for nook miles, actually. Like, really easy. Although, I'm not gonna bother with the buying items at the moment. Let's just get our hands on a ticket right now and go look for somebody to bring in so we can actually try to get everything. Yeah, I need five villagers. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Just one single obstacle to get the building ready. It's gonna be a little bit before we can get... Have red on the island then, which is a little bit lame, but I mean, hey. It means I'll definitely be playing tomorrow because I know that'll trigger it. I think I can, like, stop playing for a little bit and let the, the residential services building go up without me being active. And I just have to come on the day when it's supposed to be, like, built itself, so it should be okay. Yeah, I need to get one more person to move in. Selection, no, we're just getting our ticket right now. I'm gonna save my miles and pile them for some good stuff. Actually, before we move anywhere, I should probably go ahead and get rid of all my unwanted materials in my inventory right now. Like, I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of stuff in that. Part of it's just like I want the new nook stop items, but also there's the matter of me getting my hands on all the other features that come with it. There's a bunch of things exclusive to having residential services that I need. Right, let's see. I want to go ahead and sell what I've got. Okay, um... Hmm. Start with the fish. Wooden fencing, no thanks. Am I going to sell it yet? One item or two. Uh, I'll get rid of this too. I don't really care. I mean, I'm probably not needing to get rid of my furniture items I got, but at the same time, I'm going to not sweat over it and just sell it. I think I have space for them, so it shouldn't matter. We just brought in today. Run the numbers. Done. 2,000? That's, that's like barely anything, so... Eh, screw it. It's mostly the fish. I think it's not a big deal. Alright. Let's go on where we need to. Didn't really care too much about doing more than just getting rid of unwanted junk. That's right, I got a fossil. I'll take care of that when I get back from the next... Well, she, mm, I should probably just go ahead and donate it if I want to save space. That way I don't have to hold on to it. If it's not... If I need to donate, then I can go sell it over there. Might as well do it while it's on my mind. Right, this one moves somebody in too. Patty, that was the mouse I talked to, I think. Or was it? Wait... Wait, was Patty the cow I talked to? Actually, that might be it. That's weird. I just talked to a mouse villager. I didn't pay attention to her name, though. Hold on a second. Oh, this is the first one I talked to. And that mouse mentioned as soon as I, like when I got on the island, that they were going to contact Tom Nook, so I guess I don't have to go for anybody, like, getting anybody to move on to the island. I'm already gonna have, like, a, the rhinoceros, the cow, and also this rat moving on, so theoretically I should have everybody moving in tomorrow, or it might be a day after tomorrow when I get the last villager, I'm not too sure. Here, pardon me. Look around. No rush. Take your time. Ah, but first... Assist you. Right, let's get this fossil checked out. I guess I'll hold on to my Nook Miles stick. I don't have any need for it at the moment like I thought I would. See here, hmm, indeed. Parasaur tail. Wow, we're getting a lot of fossils that I have yet to discover. I, I would, I'm not sure how many there are, but like... This is quite a large chunk. I think like the day or two ago I got like two duplicates and now I'm getting all these for 
I mean, things I've dug up. Sure. Hootie hoo. Paras mm, Parasaurolophus? I didn't think of it as the beast. The golden tones. Through the three foot structure of the hollow bone top. And I've said, may have been an elaborate noisemaker. As a died in the feathered. There's Optimist and Music fan. I like to think of it as a serenade of the late Cretaceous. I was about to say that. Okay, it was very much, but sure, that's good enough. Right, well, I don't know if there's anything else I need to do then, because looking at it, I've pretty much done all the actual stuff I needed to. I can't really do anything big yet, because I'm going to be waiting on residential services to be around this place, and once that's done, then I can actually go and actually make certain that I have more progression, but right now, I mean, all I'm going to be able to do is get some more miles. I guess I could do that really quickly. Yeah, this one, these two are already mentioned, they're sold to people I've talked about, which I'm surprised about is, oh wait, I guess it does reflect now, Bettina, yeah, they're all showing they're sold. I didn't see that earlier, that was the mouse I talked to, so... By tomorrow, presumably, I should get access to, like, maybe the residential services. I don't know how fast it'll be. That's good to hear, though, that I've got everything in order. Okay, let's just look at this before I stop. Would stop now, but I'm not... Oh, that's right. We need to get to the golden spot, too, so there's still enough to do. I don't know if I can find a common butterfly, even if I want one. Hot iron for a fortune. I can do that if I have the iron. I think I do. Red snapper. Bells, hot item, plant trees. That's mostly easy stuff. Let's see if we can complete some of this or not. Otherwise, we're just going to stop. It's not going to take long to do these kind of tasks, though. I think red snapper's a little bigger than this. Let's see. I need a spot with a slightly big fish. I don't know where I'm going to find the butterflies. It's not the bugs just kind of come in and out and you have to pay attention to where they're sitting at. Give me a second. I'm going to climb up here and see if I can spot any butterflies. I don't see anything over there. Let's check around all the environment. Alright, just give me a little bit. I'm about to stop, but I want to try to get bonus miles if I can. I'm surprised I haven't bumped into the fishing thing by now. I'm sure I've caught plenty more than enough fish for this. Oh, this is a new one. I haven't got the char fish. Oops. Yeah, haha, -ha, funny, making a chair pun. Is that? that looks new. What do we get? Stink bug. Oh, I remember these ugly creatures from other games I played. Interesting. So I guess there's like new stuff that roams around here that I can't see by default. That's just like all waiting on me on the cliff top. Hey, I don't even know if I want to sit around and wait for the spawns, though. I don't know how hard it would be to trigger a red snapper to spawn. And all the butterflies are typically really common. I'm not seeing anything in that regard right now. I guess, on the other hand, I can get a cherry tree dropped in the ground without much trouble, though. I just need a single cherry. Let me see. this one. Okay, got the common butterfly. Easy enough. Let's see here really fast. These are simple enough. I have cherries in my inventory. Not right on hand. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep extending this or not. I 
Yeah, this is the only reason I could see this being a little bit is, even though it's not a big deal, it's like, a way to get Nook Miles, it's just not super engaging sometimes. Right now is like, I'm just doing a bunch of junk to get as much as I can. Doesn't feel like I'm really adding a lot of great value to the gameplay at the moment. Alright, let's plant this thing. There we go. Let's see. At least it's peaceful. If it wasn't for the fact that I was worried about progression screw up, I'd go visit other people's islands, but I also kinda wanna I won't don't wanna like jump into somebody's island and feel depressed at how little I've got done compared to like other people's either, so I don't really feel like I'm ready to jump in quite yet, even though it's not really a big deal. I don't know. Might just be me. I feel like I'm like, I know that everybody has had the game like a long time, and I'm like still in the early stages, like slowly working my way through the beginning stuff, and it, it's, I don't really want to see somebody's island that's been worked on for months, where they can just sit there and brag while I'm like barely getting the basics done. That's weird. I thought it was over here. Well, I got that at least. I could have sworn. Let me see. Plant tree? Does it have to be... Wait, does it have to be like more than one? That's... I guess so. Let me see if that works and I plant like three trees. Maybe it's got to be different species, I don't know. Yeah, I've gotten through a lot of stuff, just like in the little bit of time I've played, I feel like, even though it's not a ton, it's been, like, more than I thought I would get, to say the least. I've actually gotten a decent chunk of bells, even though it's not as much as I'd like. Huh. Oh, another present, too. I guess it's gotta be different trees. I'll plant one more and see if it triggers anything, but I doubt it. Pet food bowl, huh? That'd be nice for beaming, but I mean... In general, there's no pets in Animal Crossing. As far as I'm aware, I mean, you can put your insects and fish in a house, I guess. Huh, I guess it has to be. It's weird. I figured it would have given me a pop-up already for it. Not really any point in planning anymore if I'm not going to be able to unlock it, unless, let's see. It doesn't show me anything for planting trees, though, even though I've been doing this. I guess I need to get other stuff, whatever. I'll worry about that some other time, though. Red snapper. self free that's easy enough. So I need to see if I can get a red snapper. Go back to the sea over here and try my luck for a little bit. Check the whole sore first, though. I need to go out and do shopping, too, so I mean, after I get done with this, I guess I'll go buy some stuff. There we go. Get in there so I can move along. Not a red snapper, but okay. Sea bass. Um, how have I not got the Nook Miles thing for getting tin yet? I thought I would be there by now. I've been doing this very carefully. Tree or seer tree? Check my 
Recycling box? I mean, I didn't see anything when I was in the recycling box. I don't know. Might go look over at the leaf, and like leaf selection of stuff too and see if he's got anything I can use, but I don't think so. Uh, let's see, where's the fish thing again? I didn't clear it, did I? Not realize. I don't think so. I thought I hadn't got it yet. Remember the name of the thing I was looking for, though. Yard in no time to... Okay, I can do that, like, later and, like, get a quick fencing up and I'm free. Just get, like, a really easy thing there. Let me see. I look at like the whole thing here. Oh, okay. I guess I did get it. I thought I was off from it. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't realize I'd achieved that already. So, next goal is still the red snapper, though. Let me see this thing really quickly. How many fruit do I have on hand? I need to sell a total of five of them. I've got five exactly. Cash this thing just for the heck of it. See what I've got here. What have we got on this one? Horse mackerel. I, you'd think I'd get used to recognizing these guys, but I guess I'd just forget which fish I collect. This one. I love when they have like iron or like bells in them. It's usually just like really handy if you get one with a bunch of bells. Folding chair, huh? Seems handy. I'm gonna drop these weeds because I don't need them, frankly. Let's see about what the leaf has in this store. I don't think he sells any tree stuff though. He's got only flowers. If I don't need stuff I could buy from that, then it'd be directly over at Nook's Cranny. The question is whether or not I need to grab any other stuff to take care of at the shop while I'm there. Uh, I need to craft one of the hot item while I'm at it. That's pretty much it. Okay, we'll do a DIY workbench because I'm pretty sure we have enough. What's she? Wait, I think it requires hardwood. Yeah, I don't know if I have enough space for that. So I don't have enough. I only have any hardwood for it, and I could go up there, but that's gonna take a while. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go fish instead. I mean, I'll sell off what I've got. I'm not gonna bother. Extending this into like another 30 minutes of just collecting miles because I don't feel like it's like extremely worth it. Go shake the cedar trees. I mean, I guess I can do that. I'm not sure how to identify which one's a cedar off the top of my head, though. I guess the ones on the up here would be cedar trees, though. I'm not certain. Money. Cool. Nothing so far. Pine tree. I mean, this looks about right, the right description here for pine tree, but it's not giving me anything at all. branches. Oh crap! I don't think I have enough room to get away from them. There's too little space. I 
I had a feeling I was like closed in with like a really s small amount of space. God damn it, I was like trying to prep to climb up without actually thinking about the fact that I might have needed the net handy. I haven't gotten anything out of them but tree branches, which means they're not really that helpful so far. It's been the same junk that I haven't needed. Yeah, nothing's coming out of these Just money at best, which is actually not a bad thing, but it's like I don't actually need the money this time for once. Right now I'm more focused on Nook Miles. Hmm. Nothing at all besides tree branches. I don't know if they're supposed to be. I think I'm gonna have to buy saplings off of Timmy and Tommy and I just shook off a bug by mistake. Whatever. Alright, I mean, as long as I'm ready, hopefully that won't be a problem. Doesn't mean that's gonna be easy, though. Let's go take care of getting some cedar wood. I'm not going to bother with getting any medicine when I'm going to be stopping relatively soon. I need like, how many? Was it 5? 15? I don't remember. Let me see. I think it's 5. 5. That's not too bad. These are these things giving me hardwood. Whatever. I, I'm not surprised about that. I'm going to just next time remember to pull the weeds first. I think they'd be giving me problems like this, though. God damn it. Is that the last of the iron I've got? No, I got one more bit, but that means I can't craft a DIY workbench like this, so. I'm not in the mood to go to another island over this. So I'm not going to bother with that, I guess. Just trying to get hardwood, too. I mean, I'll just use it for other stuff, though. I mean, I'm not actually looking to keep all the trees. A lot of these I'm using the wood on, although... I don't have any way to plant the others without getting more supplies. I guess I need to go check on Nook's Cranny now before I forget. Whoops. That's my fault. I mean, most of the trees are going to be replaced. There's too many trees anyway. They don't need all these fucking trees. There's like 20 to 30 trees or more in my area. And me taking them out is probably only helping. I would assume with less trees, it's easier to hunt down the spawns and stuff. And I've got like so many of these fucking trees around. I feel like I need to have less as long. And as well as like I also need wood. So it's doing me a favor in the end getting rid of them. Alright, let's get rid of our cherries. We'll get rid of the fish we don't need either. And this. I'm gonna hold on to these two. I don't think they're things I've actually bumped into yet. Um, I would have one more item I could get rid of, but I might be mistaken. Yeah, I think that's all I can sell safely. <laughs> It's not too bad of a deal. Okay. And now let's see if they've got any tree seeds or anything I can buy off of them. Oh shit, it's gotta be over in here if they do. Let me see. Uh, cedar sapling. Wait, do I want to get a cedar or do I want to get something else? Let me look. Probably just cedar and, like, cherry or something. It's just a sapling. I'll buy one of each, I guess. Let's 
There we go, that'll work. A little bit of money out of my pockets, but I mean, it's to get Nook Miles, which will easily come in handy in the future, so it's not like it's a huge loss. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get up the next 150 or so I need for my debt payment, but I mean, I'll figure that out over time, I guess. Plant trees, and I want to get a try to get a red snapper, but if I don't get one the next attempt at fishing, and I'm probably just going to give up on the snapper, wasting more time than it's worth at this point. Plant this around this area. Sapping, or seed from sapling. There we go. That did the trick. Cool. Probably go ahead and plant the other two so I don't end up having trees take up all my space, honestly. There we go. Oh no, game. I'm not in the mood to go catch five bugs before I stop. Otherwise, I'll get another fucking gameplay loop and then end up busy when I'm trying to stop. So that's the last task I'm doing outside the fucking snapper. Let's see. There we go. I don't wish to spend like five hours doing fucking nothing but nook miles stuff. I know this isn't the right fish, I'm just catching it because why the fuck not? I know the snapper's like significantly bigger than this. Butterfly fish. I don't even remember if I caught this thing or not. I guess I'll hold on to him. That looks like a new one, but I'm not certain. I wanted a big fish. Whatever, though. Seahorse. Getting a lot of things that I already collected, but I don't mind. This might be what I want. Let's see. Zebra turkey fish. That's a hell of a last catch. I mean... I think most of these guys are all things I've already collected. I'm gonna go see about which ones are donations that I can give any of them, and if not, then I mean, I think I'm gonna sell them. I'm not gonna bother with the red snapper now because I don't have any more bait handy. I can make another, but I'm ready to stop. I've had plenty of time playing. Do this now, and we're through. I need to do up these fucking stumps, I guess. There's a lot of them. And a lot of activity to work on. Okay, Blathers, you know what to do. Any donations you can take off my hands? Yes, there is. There's... Oh, these two. That's right. I forgot about having these. Let's do this now, then. Stink bug. Right. I'm sure the name says it all. Stink bugs are known for their stench. Phew. P.U. What happens, these crop-eating pests use straw-like mouths to pierce plants and drink for the juices. When threatened, they use a smelly chemical in their belly to release their odorous odor. Ooh, how do they, how do they live themselves? Right. Now for the fish. <laughs> he's so angry about that. He looks like he's like upset about me giving him a fucking stink bug. Yeah, let's see what he's got to say. This is an interesting name for a fish too. Charles and the bigger fish around in the world of fish, quite an accomplishment. They're territory predators. They must constantly defend their turf from others. See a large char like this one is like a skilled fighter and veteran of many battles. Others have been never has caused to go to battle with me. I love these dialogue and these dialogue things that are written there like really good most of the time. Your intro sting facts about fish and bugs. Okay, let's see if I got anything here or not. Okay, kinda figured. Didn't think I had anything. 
Alright, let's just sell then. We're done. That was an eventful day. We got a ton of progress, actually. So, we'll be ready to move along now and get more than enough done. Like, this has been a very kind day in terms of progression and getting, like, a lot of stuff. I'm happy with the way this turned out, honestly. Also, let's get some fucking stumps out of the way now, because these are annoying. One more stump removed, maybe, or two. Get rid of this. There we go. Get rid of these unsightly stumps. Looks good so far. Alright, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna ditch this one too. There. Really, it's just most of these in general are unnecessary, although some of them can stay around for attracting bugs, maybe. There we go. After this, I'm gonna save and stop. It's been fun, though. I'll get the rest of the stuff out of the way. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna take saying I'm gonna throw this out. I don't think I'm gonna use it. I mean, I might, but I doubt I'll bother wanting to hold on to it. There we go. One thousand seven hundred seven. That's decent enough, I guess. There we go. All right, that's our stopping point today. I'm tired enough to stop, and I felt like I've gone on quite a while. Been productive, and I'm happy with that. All right, let's say we're through. Yeah, let's stop. All right, I appreciate everybody who showed up. This was a pretty fun little session. Wasn't a lot to it. We just got bunch of daily stuff done like progression based but I'm satisfied with where this went to and I think we'll be all good so yeah thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys again very soon peace out thanks for watching bye actually there we go we're making sure the title screen's up all right now we'll stop for real later everybody